Hey guys, Josh here, and welcome back to Rune Factory 5. I finally got my English version of the game. And so we're gonna be starting from the very beginning in today's stream, and let's start right away because the intro to this game is pretty long, so let's start. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Because there's already quite a lot of people. I hope you guys are all doing good, and I hope you're enjoying the game so far if you've been playing. Listening while at work so I don't die of boredom. Oh, nice. Hopefully I can make your work day a little bit more fun. I'm sleepy even though it's noon, but I'm going to try to watch this because I'm so excited. You know what? I'm so... I'm kind of sleepy too because I came back from last week. I went uh, to India and I went to Ireland for work. And I just came back yesterday, I'm a, I'm a bit jet-lagged, and I slept until noon, and I kind of hurried up to be here at 1pm, but I'm here now, so, yeah. I'm so excited to finally be playing this in English. Hi, Rolly Josh, what did I miss? You didn't miss anything. We just started one second, like, one minute, 28 seconds ago. A scream. Ah! It's a girl, I have to help her. Now's my chance to be a hero. Yes. I've been loving the game so far and thanks for all the helpful videos. Thank you so much. I'm glad my videos are helpful. There's gonna be a lot more to come. So let me know if there's any specific video you'd like to see and I'm gonna be working on that. Help me! I just jet lag is rough. Yeah, it is rough. You, I like Usually it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's just that I slept a lot yesterday and I slept a lot this morning, but I think from now on I'm fine. I don't know to whom this might be useful, but I managed to get platinum early like before silver. Oh, really? Found a vein on the ice dragon farm. Yeah, some sometimes on the farm dragons you can find different ores. It's kind of rare, but Had your seed points video on loop this morning because I have plenty of wood and stone but no points. Yeah, it takes such a long time to accumulate points. I'm at 16,000 on my other save file and I still have... I still need more and yeah, it takes a long time. Hey Josh, not 100% but sure you can get 3 seeds before getting a treasure hunting skill. Yes, yeah, so I'm not too sure. I saw a lot of people commenting on that video. Saying they couldn't find the seeds. Uh, so I'm not sure if the tree seeds unlock after a certain point in the story or after your searching skill reaches a certain level. So I'm gonna have to try to figure that out because a lot of people have been pointing this out. Hi Josh, thanks for the videos. I'm currently trying to tame the first boss. With little success, we'll get there though. Yes, you will get there. It's not... It can, it can need a little bit of patience before it works, but... Either way, we need to get out of here. Come on. Let's go out. Let's go to Rigbart. You need monsters to find tree seeds early. Yeah, I saw some people saying that. Maybe you can try bringing monsters. I don't know if it increases your searching. But I'm not sure. They're available instantly. You just need a party member or the discovery quest. Oh, I see. Did you make another video while I was asleep? I didn't make any other video uh, since. No, I did not. Unless you've been sleeping for like five days, but other than that, no. I got them with nobody in my party. Yeah, usually I get them with no one in my party, but I'm pretty... I don't know. Today's the day. Oh. I never know when it's gonna be voice acted, when I have to read and when I shouldn't read. So sorry if I speak over their <laughs> voices. Love your Rune Factory videos, I don't have the game yet, but after I saw your videos, surely we'll get it soon. Yeah, hopefully you can get it soon. I got the Earthmate edition and everything's so nice, the art book's so nice, the little steel book. You know one thing I'm disappointed? Is that in the North American version, 
in the Earthmate edition from North America, there's the steelbook and the regular K. No, there's just the steelbook. But in the European version, they get both the steelbook and the regular case. So I wish it was the same for the North American one, but that's not the case, unfortunately. I usually seal a monster that's close by, they don't spawn every time though. Oh yeah, 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 you can try doing that. My friends keep asking me if this game is worth it and honestly I don't recommend it over 4. But they are going in a wonderful direction and expect 6 to be spectacular. Yeah, I think 6 is gonna be even better, but... Honestly, I would say, for me, I think I like 5 more than 4. But yeah, a lot of people have been saying that they like still... They still prefer 4 over this one. Yeah, the extra plastic case. Yeah, so in the European version, they get the steel book and the plastic, the regular box. But in the North American, it's just the steel book. I spent an hour yesterday figuring out exactly how respawning hidden items work. You have to deload the map from memory and check again. I see. Why do you prefer 5? I mean, it has almost everything that 4 has. And I like the 3D and honestly I like the characters and I think the biggest thing is I like the characters a lot more in 5 than in 4. And I I think that's gonna change from one person to another, but for me I like the characters in 5 more. It's so weird, so unusual to hear the English voices. I am now, thanks to my hero. You, how can I ever repay you? Oops. Hey now, what are you doing to my patient? Yeah, the Sim 6 marriage options that's also a big upgrade from Rune Factory 4. Oh mum, I was just coming to get you. Well, I'm here now. So, how are we feeling? Experiencing any pain? Not really, actually, I feel fine. Numbness either? Thank goodness. If you don't have any difficulty speaking, then I'd like to ask a few questions. First off, what is your name and birthday? Um... So... I'm gonna go with my name. I always pick my real name and my real birthday in these games. Yes. So, autumn third. The English voices are fine. Yeah, so far, so far, so good. I think. I like that in Rootrek Five you can use a circle to get more items. Yeah, that's one thing I really like. You can farm items from monsters with the circle. The spell seal, actually, I think it's called now, which I think is kind of a lame name a little bit, but. Where are you from? Well, I, uh... I play Rune Factory 5 since European release day and I just can't put it down for me. It's the best so far. Yeah, it's really hard to put it down. I feel like... I don't know for how long this stream is gonna last, but I feel like I'm, I'm gonna want to keep playing for a long time. You appear to be suffering from memory loss. I'm afraid the symptoms point to a case of amnesia. Yes. That doesn't sound good. Afraid not. Amnesia is no joke. I've never met anyone with amnesia before. Isn't there anything we can do? What to do? What to do? Everyone's getting worked up over me. What to do? I should leave before I cause any more trouble. Thanks for your concern, but I'm okay, really. I'd better be on my way now. Don't be silly. Why not stay at my family's place? Hey now, what are you saying? Absolutely not. Stop this nonsense. He's my patient. He'll be staying under my care. What? You just want a chance to study an amnesiac. F 
for his own safety, of course, and for science. I've been playing non-stop, I'm loving the game, even if it has a bit of issue, it's still very good. Yeah, it's not perfect, but definitely a very good game. So hopefully with Burn Factory 6 they're, 6, they're gonna be able to improve on like the graphics maybe and performance. Don't be dense. Isn't it obvious? They're arguing over who's gonna take you in. Could you people be any more gullible? You're inviting a total stranger into your homes. For all you know, he's a wolf in Wooly's clothing. <laughs> Hmm, as much as I'm inclined to agree with Hina, my daughter does raise a valid concern. Oh, I know, Lucy. Be a dear and take Josh to the field captain's office. The soul sphere doesn't lie. One scan will tell us just what kind of person he is. Hey, why me? I'm the one who raised the red flag. Well, uh, I wouldn't mind taking you. Really? Sure. The field captain's office is on the first floor. Thank you. Hey. Wait up, I'm coming too. I haven't unlocked Ludmilla yet, hopefully. She sounds good. I hope so. Yeah, it takes a while to unlock her. Okay, I know how to play. All right. The field captain's office is down the stairs into your right. Come on now, no doubtling. Uh, let's go see Libya. I couldn't get into Rune Factory 4, but haven't put Rune Factory 5 down. I love it, but I think it's because I like the open world feel. I already have my eyes on Riker and Martin. The head scenes are cute. Yeah, I wish there were more of these little like cutscenes. Oh, the heart scenes. Oh, sorry. I need <laughs> I need glasses. Uh, yeah, the hard cutscenes are really cute. The little events, but also like the little cutscenes, like when you meet a character for the first time. I wish there were more like the little animations. I wish there were more or like longer animations. We've come to register Josh with the Soul Sphere. Wish they fix the monster helping on farm. What do you mean fix? What's what's wrong with the monsters helping? Ah, this one. So he's finally awake. This child is the field captain? Yep. She runs the silo. Seeds Rigbarth Outpost. Silo? Is that the name of the building? Who's Rigbarth? What's a seed? Can you at least try to keep up? The clothes you were wearing were all torn up, so we took the liberty of lending you a seed uniform. Got it? Yes, got it. Thanks, Thanks for filling me in. Thank me. They can't break stone or stone, which the game explicitly says they can do. Oh, I see. I didn't think they were supposed to do that. Super excited to see new save file. Yeah, I'm excited to start this new save file. So, where did you come from? What brings you to a particular little slice of the frontier? And that means what, exactly? They just get rid of weeds, weeds and rocks, branches, stumps and boulders. They also don't seem to harvest crops anymore. So usually they should harvest crops at 3 p.m. He supposedly has amnesia. That's why we'd like you to run a soul sphere check. Hmm, I see. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they changed him while he was sleeping. Uh, in that case, hold out your hand towards the crystal. All right, let's see if I'm a if I'm a good person or not. This thing.
Yeah, it would definitely be a lot faster if they gathered the stone and lumber. What's happening? These wounds are nearly out of control. That can only mean one thing. Enough, get away. All right. That was a surprise. Who or what are you? That's what I'd like to know. What gives, field captain? That was not a normal reading. Normally, the soul sphere only gives off a faint glow, right? Ma'am? Hmm? Huh? Yes, right. At ease, you two. This one is no threat. This one is no threat. In fact... No. Never mind. The important thing is that nothing suspicious came up on the soul sphere. Just is squeaky clean. Thank you. Thank goodness. Yep, I feel relieved. Not gonna lie, I'm way out of my depth here for starters. What's a soul sphere? The soul sphere is, um, you know... What is it? My mom told me it quantifies the inner light of a living spirit. Whatever that means. Offer your hand and it will reveal a lot about who you are. Right, Captain Livia? Yeah, that about sums it up. I finally unlocked Ludmilla last night, my wife. Oh, congrats! Hopefully you can increase your relationship and get married soon. Uh, I had to stop them helping on my farm because they were breaking my rock and wood farm. Oh, really? You don't have else to go. I'm on the third year, not once they break stone or wool. How come you're already on the third year? Wow, you guys are playing so fast. If you don't have anywhere else to go, then I have some work for you. Our only active ranger is away at seed headquarters, so we're all understaffed. That's putting it lightly. They're so short-handed, we've had to work overtime and we're just volunteers. Interested? The job comes with free room and board. I don't know. Seriously, I haven't even finished spring yet. Yeah, because the days are so long in this game, like one day is 48. 48 minutes, so... It takes a while. Granny Yuki's spectacles have been spirited away. Yeah. Uh, she lost her glasses again? No, ma'am. They vanished into thin air. It's a serious incident. Jeez. Okay, okay. This one's all yours, Lucy. Huh? Me again? What? Come on, Lucy. Hurry. We need to investigate the scene before it's compromised. Of all the lousy. Can't wait to get this game. Can't choose if I like Reinhardt or Martin more. Yeah, it's hard to pick. Hopefully you can get the game soon. I'm still mid-spring. I'm taking it slow and trying not to toss anything. Yeah, I mean, there's no time limit, right? So take your time. That's what qualifies for a mystery out in the sticks. We're just a sleepy hamlet where nothing happens. As soon as your memory returns, you can pack up and go. But for now, we need all the help we can get. All right. Yes. When you put it that way, sign me up. Ah. Excellent. Welcome to the team. Now then, let's put you to work. Priscilla, take on your recruit out back for some field training. By field, do you mean agricultur agricultural? Seed is a self-sufficient organization. You'll just start in the field. After that, the only thing limited limiting what you can do is my imagination. <laughs> okay, then. Well, shall we? All right, let's go to the field. Catching you live. Hey Josh, hi Megan. Hope you're doing good. Here to see if this game is worth it. I would say it's definitely worth it. I've played so much of the Japanese version and I'm really looking forward to playing the English version. But I think it's definitely worth it if you like farming games in general. I just hit fall and I gotta say it's my fave so far. Yeah, the farming is so good. Uh, I mean, fall looks so good in this game. Uh, okay. Yeah, I feel like all the different seasons in this game just look so good. Oops. Oh, pick up the weeds and branches. I think I, I wanted to skip the tutorial, but I kind of messed up. Wait, what? Could you please use the... Oh, she wants me to ship them. Okay. 
I think previously I like usually I just skip the third tutorial, but I was <laughs> I was reading the chat so I kind of didn't read what she said. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna turn off. Oh, I don't think I can turn it off right now. I want to turn off the field camera because it annoys me a little bit. By the way, if you hold down, yeah. All right. Right, let's plant some turnips. Alright, now let's water. It's all good if you skip the tutorial, don't get any turnip seeds. Oh, really? I thought you still got the seeds. Are you sure about that? Oh, I received more turnip seeds. Oh, yeah, so I guess you're right. So that's good to do the tutorial, even if you know, even if you know what you're doing. I just started playing and not a fan of some of the controls, like switching through different tools. Oh, that's weird. That's one of the things I like the most in this game is like the the pocket to change your tools. I find it very like convenient compared to how it was in Rune Factory 4. Yeah, the intro in this game is a little bit long, um, like the first few days where you meet everybody and like before you can really get into the game. Also, I bought the DLC outfits, so the outfits from Rune Factory 1, 2, 3. And yeah, I have a Rune Factory 4 save file too, so we should see Doug and Margaret at some point. So I'm looking forward to that because I didn't meet them in the Japanese version of the game. I want to change. Oh, I have to go to sleep. Oops. I got the DLC for the tomato seeds. Yeah, I didn't get the ranger. I wanted to try without the tomato seeds. So I didn't get the ranger pack for now. Good yeah, and the Rune Factory 4 outfits are so good. Is there a monster limit of one type? No, there's no limit uh, for one type. You just need to make sure you have... If it's still not working, you have to make sure you still have space in your barn. So each room in the barn can have up to four monsters. But there's no limit. So if you want to have like 50 buffamoos, you can have 50. Like there is no limit. As long as you have space in your barn. Just be aware that Doug and Margaret count for FP requests in this game for some reason. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Rune Fire Crew 5 has DLC. Yeah, just outfits. Oh, yeah, I like these cutscenes, these little animations. But they're just way too short. Good morning, Good morning Priscilla. And you too, Lucy. Morning. Pretty cold. I wonder if she still distrusts me. Oh yeah, did you solve the case of the missing glasses? Yeah. Naturally. Wow. Glad to hear it. Cecil sure must feel relieved. Relieved I didn't chew him out for wasting my time. Yuki's glasses were sitting right on her head. They say it's always in the last place you look. Priscilla? Yes, sorry. I was trying to hold back a yawn. I hope she's getting enough sleep. Why fight it? If you gotta yawn, just yawn. Showing the inside of my mouth to the whole world is just too embarrassing. Okay, whatever you say. Let's just pass along your message already. Then maybe you should go back to bed. You have a message for me? Sure. The field captain's orders. She wants you to introduce yourself to everyone in town. Oh, wow. Your first official seed mission. Good luck and break a leg. Alright, let's do that. Ah, 
All right, let's change our outfit, change clothes. So, yeah, I've got all the Run Factory 4. And, yeah, the Run Factory 1, 2, 3. And, oh shit, Tides at Disney. What should I wear? What should I wear? What about Raguna? You know what? I think I'm gonna go with Raguna's outfit for now. Alright, okay, yeah, I want to turn off that annoying farm camera. Uh, dynamic resolution on, a toy item pickup on, that's good. Okay, everything's good. Alright, let me water. Okay, I'm gonna plant my new... Okay, you know what? Okay, let me just... I'm just gonna do the request so I can have my... Oh, not yet. Okay. Okay, let me just water everything. And before I plant my other turnips, I just wanna do the request so I get, like, the axe and the... Everything, you know? Oh, you know what? No, I'm gonna plant them right away. Okay, let's just plant them here. Farm camera is so annoying. I know. I, I wonder if there's actually people that like it, but for me, <laughs> it kind of bugs me a little bit. Overall, I'm loving this game. Just kind of surprised by the crashes and bugs. Oh, are you getting lots of crashes? Oh, two times. That's too bad. I got... I got... The game crashing quite a few times when the Japanese version came out. But since all the updates, it's been pretty good. But yeah, hopefully I don't get too, cra too many crashes in this one. And I noticed that the version of the game is actually not, that's not the same. Like in... Like Story of Seasons, Pioneers have left town the Japanese and the North American version of the game came out at different times. But the version number of the game was the same. But with this one, like, the North American version of the game is, like, 1.0.1. .1, but the Japanese version is at 1.1.1. .1. So since... I wonder if there's, like, a few things that are actually different beside the language. Like, if there are some bugs not fixed in one or the other. Like, I'm assuming it's probably, like, the same. But I, I found it interesting that they're using different number of versions for this one. You get axe and hammer from board quest. Yes, you get them pretty early with the board quest. I love the farm camera with the auto camera off. It moves the camera only once when you orient toward the field. It's unacceptable. Oh, I see. Um... It breaks your neck anytime you get even close to your field. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Um, I'm Josh, the new seed trainee. I'll be staying in Rigbart for a little while, so I wanted to introduce myself. How do you get the pack for tomato seed? So that's actually a DLC, um, the new Ranger Care Pack. I only had the game crash once when I tried doing two of the NPC combos in a row. Oh. I'll be staying in Rigbart for a little while, so I wanted to introduce myself. I'm here, but can't talk in class. Ooh. Hi. Hope you're enjoying your class. Sir, Master Darak, a new seed trainee is here. What's that? A new seed trainee is here. A blue seed trains near where? <laughs> Please stay your hand for a moment, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Why didn't you tell me we got a customer? Not a customer. Seed's latest recruit. My name is Josh. Be 
wish I could help. Say, that's it, Martin. Show him the forge. I'm running away on the anvil may might knock something loose. Understood. I'll keep it short. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're gonna learn how to forge. Looks like you're ready. Then let's get started. Smithing allows you to make weapons and farm tools. Of course, you can't make much of anything without metal or any other materials. Normally, you would gather ore from dungeons with a hammer. But since you probably don't have any right now, you can use this. You received some steel. Thank you. No need to thank me. Moving on. Mm, why don't you start by making a longsword? Choose the make a weapon option, then select longsword. What should I make? Make a weapon. Make a longsword. Let's make a claymore. No crashes here over 50 hours. Don't forget your silver curry pots. I got about 30. Yeah, well, I'm glad you didn't get any any crashes. Color me surprised you did well for your first try. You may have a talent for this after all. Well, I do have a good teacher. Smithing is such an amazing art. I can hardly believe that I turned a lump of metal into something like this. It's almost like magic. You really think so? Anyway, did you remember anything? Uh, nothing at all. I see. Well, if it were that easy, then I doubt you would have to try so hard in the first place. If you need a flash of inspiration, you could try eating some bread. Oh, M, welcome. We've got a new member. Thank you, thank you for supporting the channel. Oh man, I took so many videos, captures of fun movements, getting stuck in the Japanese version, all pretty much repeatable, still in English. I see. Bread, really? Did I stutter? Oh, right, you lost your memories. You'll learn new recipes by eating recipe bread. Oh, that's news to me. Depending on what you want to make, you can eat weapon bread or farming bread. Although sometimes you won't learn anything at all from eating them. That happens when your forging level or tool related skill level is too low. In other words, it means you aren't ready to handle something like that yet. I'm still in training myself, so unfortunately there's not much else I can teach you. Sorry about that. Oh, don't worry, I learned a lot. Thanks so much. If you ever want to get serious about forging, then you should get a forging license and your own forge. Use a directive to take the test for a forging license at Rigbard Outpost. As for a forge, you can buy one at Studio Palmo. I'm slow limiting myself to one dungeon a month to slow it down. Yeah, like it's really easy to rush through the story, so it's good to like really just go at your own pace and try to try to slow down. If you don't have any other business here, please leave us to our work. We've wasted enough of my master's time already. Thank you. All right, so that's Martin and Derek. But we still have a lot of people. Let me talk with them. And let's speak with Darak a little bit. I def speed sped run to get Ludmilla. Love that you can also go back to the other dungeons. Yeah, that's nice. You can always go back. But yeah, it's such a shame that like if you're interested in Ludmilla, she takes a while. Quite a while to unlock. Alright, so that's that. We still have a lot of people to meet. So let's go meet Scarlet. Uh, no, I think that's gonna be Lucy around the tree. She's gonna. Yeah, I think that's gonna be Lucy here. I want to do the money hack, but you need the quest, and I need to capture the wanted monsters. Yeah, but you know what? Even without doing any money hacks, like with the curry things for from Elshay, right? Even without that, you're gonna make a lot of money. Pretty. Pretty soon, like, in my other safe file, I just have way too much money and I have nothing to do with it. I kept finishing a dungeon and being like, Ludmilla now, or... <laughs> yeah, it takes a while. I did not expect his name to just be pronounced Derek, with the weird spelling, cool name. Darak. Darak, right? D did I say Derek? 
Tarak. I like Martin, he reminds me of Yemi Yugi for some reason. Might be the eye shape. I don't know who's Yemi Yugi, so. Uh, you could just give her chocolate every day and she'll be at three hearts in a few days. Yeah, it doesn't take too long. Sorry. I was chasing after my brother. Okay. No worries. Are you okay, Lucy? It's Darak. Yeah, isn't that what I said? Uh, did I say something else? Uh, Josh, did you know this game is touchscreen for some stuff? Yeah, I know. I don't play in the handheld too much, but yeah, I know. I was wrong to be suspicious of you. Yeah, I mean, you guys from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. No, it is Derek, which is weird because it doesn't sound special or fictiony. Oh, I see. That's interesting. I don't mean to make fun of your accent, but I like the way you say chocolate in your videos. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't have time for this. I'm gonna hunt down Julian. I take my eyes off that kid for some... For one second and he runs off to who knows where. <laughs> Sounds like a real handful. More like two. You're in training, right? Give me a hand. First one to catch him wins. Who? Julian? This is now a seed mission. Three, two, one, go. Off she goes. Alright. Next, let's go meet Yuki and Randolph at the bakery. Pronunciation is like really not that important. Yeah, <laughs> well kind of important but as long as people understand that's the most important who are your fave bachelorettes and bachelors mm, I would say my two favorite bachelorettes would be Beatrice and maybe Priscilla and my two favorite bachelors may be Reinhardt and maybe Martin so these would be my like if I had to pick four characters that they would they would be the four more interesting ones. Welcome. Welcome. Sorry about that. Excuse me, I'm not here to buy anything. As a matter of fact... You're the new seed trainee, aren't you? Oh. oh. You know They're so cute. You keep. Oh right, the woman from the glasses incident. I love her voice. I love her voice actor. She's so cute. She had more than a few kind words to say about C's latest hire. Oh ho, isn't that something? My name is Josh and yeah, that's me. I look forward to getting to know you. Same, I'm Randolph. I wouldn't want to impose. Don't you worry about that. Old timers like us love nothing more than to chew the fat. She's so pretty, I want a hug from grandma. Yeah, she's really cute. She's really sweet. Hello there, how nice is it to see you again? How nice it is to see you again. Randolph and I would love to have another chat with you, so don't be a stranger. You're always welcome at our little bakery. Thanks, I'll definitely take you up on your offer. Can I buy bread right away? No, I don't think so. Let's go see Randolph. I do hope five sold enough to get remakes of the older titles Rin needs. A fresh coat of paint, it's really hard to go back to it. Yeah, I guess like 1, 2, 3. I think Frontier and Tides of Destiny still look good. But honestly, I would. I think I would rather have Rune Factory 6 than a remake. Or maybe like a new game in the world of like 
with the characters and setting of maybe Rune Factory 2 and 3, but like a new story, like completely new game. I've run into a few dialogue mishaps where some of the phrasing is turned around. Oh, really? I bought this game because I watched part of your videos playing the Japanese version. I showed it to my friend and she also bought it. We're loving the game so far. Oh, nice. Glad you're enjoying it. Hey, hey, hey. Simon? Hello, Josh. How are you feeling? Great. Thank you for your help earlier. No. No thanks necessary. As a doctor, it's my responsibility to... Are you okay? That sounds pretty bad. For all my years of medical training, I'm not very good at taking care of myself. But at least I get to try the experimental treatments. You're taking untested medications? Of course, I can't very well use my patients as test subjects. Unless you would like to donate your body to science. Well, um, as long as it won't hurt. Aha, chew! Only a joke. <laughs> Uh, this is no laughing matter, Simon. I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone yet. No, I did not. Ah, hello, Josh. Hi, Simon. I see you aren't coughing anymore. Aha, that I'm not. I just finished making a new medicine that took care of a chew. Oh, uh, well, I hope you feel better soon. Nice weather today. Maybe I'll spend the day organizing my patient's record. Have you met my son? He may seem a bit cheeky, but he's a brave, bouncy little boy. Though the poor thing couldn't have get his way out of a paper bag. <laughs> I'm always hearing about him getting lost someplace or other. If you happen to see him, I'd appreciate if you said hello and perhaps pointed him towards home. Alright, let's try to find him. Ludmila just opened her flower shop. Oh, nice. Congrats. You made it. And it's such a useful shop because there's like... You can buy flower seeds and all of the products, like different fertilizers and stuff for your soil. So, takes such a long time to uh, unlock that shop, but... Run Factory 6 will be great in 2032. I don't think we're gonna have to wait that long for the next game, right? I think... We're probably gonna go back to the previous pattern before they went bankrupt and get a few games... A new game every few years, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. How unlucky. You are our 9999th visitor. Wow, that is bad luck. Sure, let's do that. Sorry I'm late, Josh. I had some stuff to take care of. Oh, no worries. Glad you're here. We still... We just started about 40 minutes ago, so... Still doing just a little introductions to everybody. Like this? No, no, no my friend. Huh? Well, it's a moot point now. How can I help you? No, oh, right. I'm training under Seed. My name is Josh. Ah, yes, I heard about you. Is it true you've lost your memories? Lately I've been rather forgetful myself, so I can understand what you're going through. Hmm, I see. But where are my manners? I'm Heinz. Proprietor of this crystal shop. Our motto is happiness sprouts from a smile. Pleased as punch to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is all mine. By the way, about that customer appreciation prize. Hi. <laughs> You're quite the comedian, my friend. Do you think a crystal shop way out in the boonies could possibly attract 10,000 visitors? I guess not. Tamed first bus with, with only three bells. Ooh, congrats. That's pretty good. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. We still have a few other people to meet. YouTube just recommended this video. How did they know? I just started the game this weekend and I'm lost. Oh, let me know if you have... 
I've played a lot of the Japanese version of the game, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I should be able to help. I get the impression that Hans is secretly very depressed. Yeah, maybe, who knows. I still had troubles with getting the bells, like the bosses don't like me <laughs> very well. Yeah, it can take a while. But it's definitely worth it to get uh, to tame the nine-tailed fox. I'm just gonna wait to see how you capture the wanted monster. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. You just lower their HP a little bit. Then you use your spell seal. You have to charge it. I am overcome by a wave of pure emotion. Behold, a work of art that is also a toilet. It looks pretty sturdy. A fine eye for detail, totally random stranger. This person in throne could bear a dragon's girth. Truly a seed for the masses. Wow, I don't know what to say. Your look of bee wonderment says it all. Hmm? But I am getting ahead of myself. Who might I ask? Are you? Who might I ask? Are you? I'm the new seed trainee, Josh. I'm gonna be living in Rigbart, so I'm making the rounds to introduce myself to everyone. Sweet serendipity, a new acquaintance. I feel the electric tingle of future inspiration. And here's Riker. Earth Dragon is spring, Fire Dragon is summer, Soul Dragon I haven't figured out. No, there's no season for the farm dragons, so there's they're not seasonal, so they're all pretty much the same. Um, can you choose the gender for your twins, or are they always boy and girl? Yeah, they're always gonna be both, so you can't you can't choose. Yeah, there's no difference between... There's no seasonal fields, yeah. The dragons are just extra this time around. Very cool to remember. Yeah. I wish there was a little bit more difference between the different dragons, but... I must begin constructing my masterpiece. When it is finished, I do hope that we may share the spark of creativity again. How do you expand farm area on the dragon? So you have to use the... I think it's the earth crystals? I'm not sure if they're called differently in English. Like the yellow ones. And you give that... You feed them to the dragon and it's gonna expand your field. Uh, let's go say hi to Riker. Hey there, Riker. Hey, uh, who are you again? I'm Josh. I joined Seed just recently. It's a pleasure to meet you. Seed's newest flunky, eh? Can't say it's a pleasure for me. Sorry, I'm just none too fond of them. But I guess you don't seem too bad. Work stuff aside, it's good to meet you. Mm, thanks. Okay, let's go. Let's... Go keep, let's keep going. Is it? Yes, it expands permanently, yeah. Terra, okay, so that's a Terra crystal. But yeah, they expand it permanently. It's the only uh, buff from the crystal that that's actually permanent. All of the other ones are temporary. I've seen in the carpet and shop the dragons have something for them for expansion, but the crystal works as well. So at the carpenter shop, you can add, you can expand the barns, but that's just for the monsters, right? So if you want to expand the field, you really do have to use the crystals. Mm. 
Do you need 10 hearts for marriage? Yes, yeah, so you need 7 hearts for dating. And then for marriage, you're gonna need 10. Who do you plan on marrying on this gameplay? Just not sure if anyone asks already. I'm not sure yet. Yo, if it isn't the hero of the hour. The answer is spoiler. Well, I did answer the question, but now I don't know if I should answer it again. Uh, wait. Was that the question about... Did I miss something? Sorry, I may have missed... I can't see your question anymore. I don't like the dragons aren't seasonal. Every game so far has had seasonal growing spot. Yeah, I know. Beatrice needs her revenge. Just yeah, maybe I'm gonna go with Beatrice this time. Murak Murakumo, right? The one and only. Given my offer, any thought? There's plenty of room for you to set my place. Perks of being the innkeeper. Actually, I'm staying at the silo. Say no more. I'm sure you'll ta you'll take to seed like a duck to water. It's a jungle out there, but work hard and you'll get by. There's no better way to restore your health and energy. Yes. Great, thanks for the offer. I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone yet, I know. Oh, Doug and Margaret are here already. I thought they would come in like later in the story. Hey there, you got a sec? Uh, sure, can I help you? Sorry to bug you out of the blue. Let me introduce yourself, uh, myself. <laughs> I'm Doug, a traveler, and you? I'm Josh. Josh? I drop by this town every once in a while, you see, and I had not seen you around before. Got a little curious, so I thought I would say hi. Well, prob we'll probably run to each other again in the future, so give me a holler if you see me around. We'll do it. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet him. I wish Doug and Margaret were marriageable in this game, but they're not. Nice day, huh? Weather like this would put anybody in a good mood, don't you think? So I heard that you lost your memories. Yeah, the first thing I remember is waking up in the forest. The forest, huh? So maybe you didn't just fall out of the sky. What in the world made you think I fell from the sky? Um, never mind that, just talking to myself. And even if I did fall from the sky, that would be kind of lethal, don't you think? Yeah, you would think that. Anyway, forget what I said. Forget I said anything. I like the little reference to Rune Factory 4. That's kind of funny. Let's see what Mark. Oh, this one. Oh, I like her room. It's all green. Uh, la la la. Excuse me. La la la. La di da di da da. Uh, I hate to interrupt you, but. Oh! Oh! Are you talking to me? That I am. I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Josh. Well, aren't you polite? Nice to meet you. I'm Margaret. I'm traveling the world, composing new songs as I go. All the new scenery, new places, and new people I encounter make for such wonderful inspiration. I can imagine what a fascinating life you must lead. Hee <laughs> hee. I drop by this town every once in a while, so if you see me, feel free to say hi. Oh, so are they not always here? Good morning, it's absolutely beautiful today. Let's both make the most out of this gorgeous weather. La la la. No, that won't work. Tralalali falalali dee dee. That sounds much better. Alright. So it's nice to meet them. I thought they were at first and realized no, I can't marry Meg. Yeah, it's such a shame because. But I don't know if there's any kind of like little cutscenes or events or like anything with them or it's just like. Because I'm guessing they won't be added into any of the cutscenes, like, for the main story, right? So, I don't know if... I don't know if there's, like, anything at all special with them, or they just, like, always stay in their room, and that's that's it. It's a case. It's a case. Oh, I'm on the case. I like giving everyone something they hate at least once, so I can see how they react. Some of them are hilarious. Yeah, I should try that. Oh, it's, you it's you again. It's you again. I 
Just as I deduced, you must be Josh. Yeah, but how do you know my name? Mr. Terry clued me in, a stranger without a past appearing out of nowhere. Now, that is a real mystery. I had to see it with my own eyes. Cecil. Show some respect. Show some respect. It's fine, please, don't worry about it. On that note, are you Terry? You are correct. Excuse me, can I also be your friend? Oh, so cute. <laughs> the more the merrier, Cecil. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. We're almost, almost there. I played Rune Factory Front PC. I'm so sad that I can get Doug or Margaret. Oh no. Well, maybe one day when Rune Factory 5 eventually comes out to PC, which I'm sure it's gonna happen eventually. I think Martin likes me a little too much because I'm giving Scarlet bamboo rice every day and Martin still has a higher heart. Yeah, also some characters are easy to befriend because I know which one is for Martin, but sometimes uh, each character has a specific skill that they like and when you raise that skill, like your friendship's gonna go high very fast with them. I'm not sure which one, maybe it's forging for Martin, I'm not too sure. There's Julian, oh, he's with Hina. I'm way stronger than you. You wish. Sounds like an argument. I'll show you. Bring it on. <laughs> Oh no, they're fighting! I'd better break it up. Hold it right there. Who do you think you are? Butting in on a fair fight. Lucy? But they might... Martin is mining. Oh, I see. Yeah, so that's one of the skills you're gonna you're gonna increase pretty quickly, right? I love Hina and Julian. They're too cute for my poor heart. Yeah, they are really cute. Yeah, yeah I win. <laughs> She's so happy. She's crying? That's why I tried to stop them. <laughs> what an amazing battle. <laughs> an amazing... What? Hey, Julian. I'm not a fan of Scarlet TBH. It she's not one of my... She's definitely not one of my favorite characters as well. Especially at the beginning, like she's very cold, so he's really done in the dumps. Will they release other rune factories to switch? Who no one knows, but I'm sure we're gonna If Rune Factory 5 is doing well, which I think it's probably doing pretty well right now, I'm sure we're gonna get more rune factory on the switch. Next time I'm gonna win for sure. One of the hardest skills to level up in the game is eating, and that just so happens to be Fuka's favorite. I got proof of wisdom early, and I've basically been ignoring food. Oh no. Yeah, it's hard to... Unless you really eat something. Yeah. Uh, you didn't get to introduce yourself. I'll let him know about you later. You sure? Thank you. Anyway, keep up the hard work. Ah, wait. What about our competition? 
Oops, almost forgot. Let's call it a draw. I won't go so easy on you next time. Next time. I wanted to try Frontier so bad. Yeah, I want to try Frontier. I bought it for the Wii, but I have not played it yet. Uh, I have Tides of Disney and Frontier, and I'm thinking I might want to stream them sometime soon, but I have a lot of Rune Factory 5 content to make, and I want to finish the story in English and everything, but after that, I would like to stream Tides of Disney or Frontier. One of those two. That would be a lot of fun. Some dialogue issues I have with the game, like later in the game, Scarlet still talks about something that was explained. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't notice that. Ah. I want to marry Ludmilla, but she hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, it takes a little while for her. Are you still planning on playing all the Harvest Moon games? Yes, I'm still doing that. Um, so I finished playing Harvest Moon 64 a while ago. And I'm still <laughs> doing my review, so I finished writing the script for my review and I need to record it and edit. And that's gonna take a little while, and after that I'm gonna play Back to Nature. At first I was planning on doing one game per month, but it's actually really hard to do one game per month, because these games take a long time to finish. Um, but yeah, so it might take a little bit longer than planned, but I am definitely still doing this. Question, could you talk about the licenses? I'm not sure how to get the rest of the furniture because I'm missing licenses. I'm pretty sure you just ordered the directive and then you can buy it. Um, I'm not sure what what are you missing. Uh, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure you can all get them pretty early from the directives. Just picked up the game the other day. It's cute so far. I can't wait for the game to open up more. Yeah, it takes a little while to like really open up. But... Yes. Once it does, it's a lot of fun. All right, let's go, let's go see Livia. Captain Livia. Yes. Oh, pro cooking. Oh, you need to talk to Elshay. Yeah, it's been such a long time since I actually did the cooking licenses, so I don't remember everything. I've introduced myself to everyone in town. Good work. Are you getting used to the small town life? Yeah, everyone's so friendly. You're an odd duck. What? Nothing. When it comes to relationships, everyone marches to the beat of their own drum. Speaking of which, Josh, did you see the bulletin board? Yes. yes. Yeah. Alright, yeah. right, let's go to sleep. Then tomorrow, well, actually, oh no, it's nine. It's 8 a.m. actually. Okay, yeah, let's start doing some requests. Uh, Priscilla seems to have, oh yeah, we need to go see what's up with the restaurant. And talk to Eliza. Alright, so let's start with Eliza. Right. What's with this box? And why does it have a face? A box? How rude. <laughs> Did this box just talk? I told you already, I'm not a box. Despite my appearance, I do in fact have a name. Saint Eliza. Call me Eliza for short. Eliza? That's me. Please to make your acquaintance. Now that I think about it, you can actually hear me? At first glance, you don't look too dependable, but I can see that you have potential. I do? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just talking to myself. You can change the game's difficulty level here. You have three options, easy, normal, and hard. You're currently playing on normal. Let me know if you want to change it. Yes, so that's the first thing. Uh, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Okay, yeah, we need to expand our bag. It bothered me that you could get love events with Lucas before he was even an official member of your town. It ruins a big story, we real. Oh, yeah. I'm not bad, not bad at all. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Alright. Yes, seed points, festivals, 1000 seed points. Alright. So, let's unlock the cooking contest. 
And actually, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the. Cook I don't know if I'm gonna get a cooking license or something in time for this. But anyway, it's fine. Even it's fine. All right, let's change the difficulty to hard. That's done. And okay, let's see how much the licenses are. Okay. All right, that's that for now. You get a free cooking table at the start of the game, but yes, it's unlikely you'll win the contest with turnips and rice. Yeah, it's fine. Um, okay, let's see if I have another request. Alright, I'm gonna place that in my house. I'm finding that the hard difficulty is too hard for me, but the normal difficulty is too easy. That's tricky. <laughs> yeah, for me, I find that even hard is a little bit too easy. Maybe you just your level is just a little bit too low for the area. Or maybe you just need a little bit of a better weapon. Uh, does Rune Factory 5 have field dungeons or something similar? No, there's none of that, unfortunately. Alright, All right. gather lumber. So I'm just gonna try to go through these requests kind of as quickly as I can because they allow you to unlock most... a lot of things. Oops. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sometimes it's kind of hard to aim, right? When you want to chop wood or like get stones. Sometimes even though you're facing the stump, it's still not really... Not really working. I forgot how quickly you level up all of your skills at the beginning. Every time you do something, you level up. I kept going back to Palmos to cook because I didn't realize I could pick it up and <laughs> take it to my house. Oh no. Yeah, it's not very obvious at first, right? That it's actually yours. I think I probably did the same. <laughs> probably did the same thing, uh, I think, when I started. I would just go there to cook. Alright, so I'm gonna ship that. Oh yeah, Margaret is walking outside. So they don't stay just inside the inn. They actually go out a little bit, Doug and Margaret. So that's uh, good to see. And, alright, let's go to try to open the door. You can move that like anywhere. I thought it was stuck there on the wood panel. No, you can move it and actually when you because when you buy furniture you can always you can like take it for takeout from the store. You can have it delivered to your house or in the farm dragon. So they are they're always gonna be appearing on these little wood panels. So yeah, you can move them. Frontier is amazing. I bought a giant strategy guide back when it came out. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I haven't played Frontier yet. Margaret likes to stay at the tree plaza and Doug. I find him mostly in the armory. Ah, I see. You're right. It won't open. Did you lose the key? No, but my big sister has the only copy. Is that so? Is that so? All right, then we need to go find her. 
That's the thing. She's inside the restaurant. But she hasn't come out in days. Oh no. Do you think something happened in there? We have to do something. No, way. no response. Prisna, do I have your permission to break down the door? Uh, I mean, yes. Okay, I'm on it. Ouch, it won't budge. What's going on? Priscilla's sister is locked inside, but we can't get in. It is it really is tragic that Elshe and Terry aren't marriage options. Yeah, I feel like with every farming game there's always <laughs> People that would like everybody to be marriage candidates. Also, I know a lot of people would like to marry Miss Asagi. But, you know, it's like in real life, you can't marry everyone, right? But I think the options that we have are still pretty good, right? Who are you going to marry? I'm not, I've not decided yet who I'm going to marry in this playthrough. Wait a moment. Riker? I swear, blacksmiths are all brown, no brain. Guess when all you've got is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I don't want to hear it from a halfling who's barely cut out for carpentry. Shut it. Shut it. You'll eat those words eventually. How many playthroughs have you done so far? This is just my second playthrough, so I did one of the on the Japanese version of the game, and now this one. Hmm, I see. With her new voice, I'm not so upset with Misasagi not being marriageable in English. Oh, is her English voice not that good? Wow. It's open. For someone like me, this luck is child's play. Impressive, you'd make a fine locksmith. Or a fine thief. A life of crime might actually suit you. Haha, <laughs> go on, laugh it up. Someday I'll be Palmo's right hand man, you'll see. Thanks, everybody. I'll pay you back as soon as I not mention it. We're doing this for a reason, right? We are doing this for a reason, right? Get in there. Let's go, Priscilla. I'm right behind you. It does feel like all the single characters like Tyrion and Elshe should also be marriage candidates. Yeah, the game broke the fourth wall for me whenever I open up the game. Fuka says num num and says, what is Rune Factory? Can I eat it? Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to hear all of these little uh, things they say on the title screen. Huh? Did I just hear something? Fuka! Not what I expected. <laughs> Fuka, where's my sister? Of course, I should have guessed. That is so typical of her. Uh, Priscilla, who on earth is this? Oh, that's right. You two haven't met. This is Fuka. She works part-time at our restaurant. She says she's happy to meet you. <laughs> Likewise, or should I say Rar? <laughs> she understands you just fine. Oh, really? She says she knows a lot of words. Incredible. <laughs> I know, she's very determined to learn. No, I mean, you're incredible, Priscilla. How can you understand what Fuka means? Oh, that's easy, Josh. I'm sure you'll pick it up as you get to know her better. Fuka's language is less heard than seen. Seen? This is getting complicated. This <laughs> is so cute. Could you repeat that, please? What? Your name? Uh, one more time. What's your name? What's your name? Amazing. I've never seen anyone catch on so quickly. It's strange. As I watch her hand gestures and facial expressions, the words just kind of formed in my mind.
You understand that now you and I are friends. Ah, thank you. I'm Josh. Thanks for being my friend, Fuka. That was human speech. I've been learning lots of new words from Priscilla. And Fuka's teaching me the language of where animals in return. Is that so? I would love to learn more from you sometime. What's going on? I love Fuka not as marriage candidate, but she's very cute. It's sad that the only colored marriage candidate is an animal though. Yeah, I I think she's very interesting as a character, but I'm also not that interested in her like as a marriage candidate. Elshe Good morning, Priscilla. Jeez. Don't good morning me. You were gone for days. I've been worried sick. Sorry about that. Walking home is just a pain. I've had enough. I'm going to put a reminder here, so make sure you read it every day. Okay, okay. Jeez, what a pain. You're Priscilla's sister, right? Yeah, and you are? I'm Josh, the new seed trainee. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mm, why can't anyone use their indoor voice? What's <laughs> is that how you introduce yourself? Josh is just being polite. I don't think I can do that. Sorry about her. Elsha gets cranky when she wakes up. I don't mind. I'm just glad she's okay. Thanks, Josh. Here's a little thank you for thinking of my request. Nice. What do we get? Oh, some potions. Okay, let's say hi to Elsha. Mm, you look familiar. We met earlier. I'm Josh. Oh, nice to meet you again. Nice day today, huh? I love it if the evenings were twice as long in the mornings and the afternoons too, I guess. Wow, twice as long. What would you do with all that extra time? Absolutely nothing. It's funny because time is actually twice as long in Run Factory 5 compared to, to Run Factory 4. Um, next, let's go there. Let's see if I have other no more requests for now. So let's go see Olivia. And I think soon we're gonna get to go to the first dungeon. Well done. Cecil is adorable, but he looks too young. Yeah, I agree. I think Terry would have been maybe a more appropriate candidate than Cecil. The townspeople did all the work. I barely lifted a finger. Is that so? Well, that's to be expected at first. Keep tackling the task board. That's how you'll improve. So I should take on lots of requests. Yes, let me put on my captain hat and explain how they're categorized. Sometimes people come directly to us with requests, but most of the time you'll find them posted to the task board. Anyone in town who has... Oh yeah, actually, I know that, so <laughs> let, let me just go through this a little bit quicker. <laughs> Alright. So I've got the beginner's crest. Yep. All right, so do I have any other requests right now? Place a turnip in the shipping bin. So that's done. I'm just gonna wait for tomorrow. And let's see if there's any new requests now on the task board. No, so, alright, so for the rest of the day, so we're, oh, actually, I forgot to water my crops, and I still have more turnips, so let's, let me plant everything, and you know what, yeah, I'm gonna go take a bath, actually, let me just plant these, yeah, let's go take a bath with our new crest, yeah, Lucas is also pretty old, right? I think Riker, Lucas and Riker look pretty, pretty old. Yeah, let's go take a bath. Hopefully Mu Murakumo is going to be here. I'm having such a hard time <laughs> picking a bachelor, I'm greedy. Yeah, it's a tough choice, right? Alright, let's take a bath. Thank you very much. 
All right. What are you skilling up on while running? Is there a running skill? Yeah, there is actually a walking skill. So, especially at the beginning, like <laughs> every time you walk, that's gonna keep leveling up. And that increases your maximum RP and things like that. So it's still, yeah, there are skills for everything in this game. You know what, let's take another one just to increase my ba bathing skill a little bit. So many skills. Yes, there is a lot. How much unique dialogue is there with the bachelors? There's quite a lot of unique dialogues in this game. It'd be similar to Rune Factory 4. I'm marrying Lucas mostly because of Morikubo. I mean Murakumo. Mori What's Morikubo? Um, I wish Terry was romanceable. Yeah, there's a bathing skill. Yeah, there's bathing skill, eating skill, sleeping skill. There's a lot. Watering time. Alright, that's done. So for the rest of the day, uh, I think I can maybe just go out a little bit. Just beat up some woolies. And yeah, there's not much, much I can do uh, until tomorrow. So you know, let's just go out a little bit. I haven't listened to the music CD it came with yet. You know what? I also did not. I'm looking forward to it, but actually I don't have anything to read CDs. Because uh, I just have a laptop. And I don't have any kind of like... Yeah, I don't have any device that can actually read a CD, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, like actually a few months ago, I bought like the Animal Crossing soundtrack. Like there's like a huge box with like all of the New Horizons music. There's like six, six CDs I think in it. And anyway, there's quite a lot, but <laughs> I don't have any music player. So I'm accumulating all of these soundtracks, but I don't have anything to listen to them. Oh, this one's good. Like, oh yeah, critical resistance 100%. I guess I can play the CD in my PS4. I don't think PS4 actually can read uh, CDs. I because I was surprised because at first I thought it could. I think the PS3 could read CDs. Um, PS4 can read DVDs, but not like CDs, like music CDs. Unless it changed, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, Josh, I can send you the files. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, the game is for young people, yes, so if you're 40 and playing this and feel weird about marrying Cecil, then you are just normal. Yeah, that's why also there's, like, there's lots of marriage candidates from all ages, right? Because there are players for all ages, of all ages. Level 5 already. I can't go here quite yet, right? Until, oh yeah, it's still locked. Nice. How good are axes in this game? In far they're painfully slow and boring. Yeah, I don't like using axes too much because, yeah, I find them a little bit too slow for me. I was almost going to get the Ultimate Edition, but yeah, the CD only has like 15 songs. Yeah, what I like with the Ultimate Edition is actually the art book. More, like, I don't mind too much for the CD, because... Like, like I said, I don't even have a music player. A CD player, but... 
I like the art book a lot. And also in the steel book, I don't know if it's in the regular version of the game, but there's a little manual. There's like the seed, seed introduction booklet or something like new ranger introduction booklet. Like it's kind of a little game manual, but it's actually really cute, really fun. I don't know if it's in the regular version of the game though, with the regular version or just with the Earthmate. Yeah, you can send it by Discord roller blink roller blading panda. That would be nice. Whenever you like, there's no rush. Whenever you feel like it. There's slow in these two best practices to use some fast rune ability with them, which still benefits from the high knockback and crit. Oh, I see. It's in the regular version. Oh, okay, that's nice. I meant beyond the teens, early 20s, I like how Murakumo and Lucas are visibly aged, but none of the female options are. Yeah. But I think most of the characters, like, I feel like Cecil and Fuka look really young but the other ones like I mean they could all be in their 20s or like with the art style is like it's hard to pinpoint a specific age but I don't think the characters look too young like like besides Cecil and Fra uh, Fuka I think they all look like pretty adult at least in my opinion Ooh, potato seeds. The outfit is also a factor in portraying their image. Yeah. I'm currently training my monsters Pokemon style <laughs> because they're pretty weak. Yeah, I find that most monsters in this game are not that helpful in combat. Maybe some of them are a little bit more than others, but... I really like the Tides game. Yeah, Tides of Disney was so much fun. I really want to play it again, because it's been... Oops. It's been such a long time since I played that game. I don't remember too too much about it, except that I had a lot of fun with it. Right. Nice. Oh, I don't have the hammer yet. I'm not. I don't remember exactly when you get the hammer. I think you can get it pretty early. Hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow I should have the hammer. I think these guys are gonna be too strong for me, right? Let's see. Oh, not actually. Oh yeah, yeah, a little bit too strong. I actually have a complaint about the Bachelorettes, I changed my mind. Why do they get to have such nice swimsuit models and I get the same one no matter swimsuit I pick? Yeah, there's actually a swimsuit. Uh, there's a DLC. If you want to have a different swimsuit, there's actually lots of different DLCs you can get for different swimsuits. Yeah, everyone has the options to uh, to tell them you like them. But yeah, it doesn't mean they're a marriage candidate. I'm glad I found this channel. In real life, no one I know plays these types of games. So I'm glad to know I'm not alone. I'm in my mid-20s, but I love cozy games like this. 
Yeah, Sam, and that's one of the reasons why I started this channel, because I like farming games and I like to talk about farming games, but also in real life, I don't have... I don't know that many people who are into these types of games. Because it's still a genre that's kind of growing, and now we have more and more farming games than people think them, but still not as popular as, like, other types of games, so... It's good to have some kind of online community to talk about these games. Can we get swimsuit models for all the dateable characters in this upcoming scam of a game? Oh, are you talking about... Um, <laughs> Song of the Prairie or... I'm gonna keep a count of the real shit should be romanceable comments. Yeah, there's a lot of these a lot of these comments And there's gonna be a lot more with so many hyped action games It's hard to find others especially locally that enjoy farming slow RPG games. Yeah Alright, I think I'm gonna go to bed soon Because um, yeah, there's not too much too much else to do today. So let's just sleep I'm still salty about the name harvest moon here in Europe. I got scammed before knowing the series had a new name Oh, no. Yeah, I think you're <laughs> you're not the only one. I think a lot of people That were not like most people were not aware of the change Yeah, I think I found out about that change when like, I saw the box for, was it Light of Hope or like, whichever, the new Harvest Moon game that Natsume made. And I saw there was clearly something wrong with the, the art style and I was like, nope, there's something wrong. And then I looked it up and that's how I found out it was not the same series. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait until 8am for my... Shipping request to be completed. Oh, and my turnips are all ready. Oh, and tomorrow, so tomorrow's the cooking contest. So even though I don't win, I want to try. Maybe I can make like pickled turnip or something. Yes. We're gonna try. So I'm just gonna uh, ship one of everything. I'm just gonna keep one turnip for cooking. Actually, I can sell those. I'm gonna keep this for now. I'm gonna plant that, plant some potatoes. All right, like this. I was tipped off when there was no Japanese version of their first 3DS game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's also... Yeah, I think most of their games actually don't get released in Japan, like the Harvest Moon games. Alright, let's water everything. My first Harvest Moon was Magical Melody. Magical Melody is so good. It's definitely one of my favorite games. Favorite farming game and favorite, even like favorite game, like video game in general. It's just so good. Um. Yeah, right. Let's let, let's go to Studio Palmo and let's see if I can cook something. I'm just mad at Natsume for forcing us all to explain the difference every time a friend asks about the franchise. Yeah, I definitely feel like they should have picked a new name, but you know. Oh, there's actually the quest. Okay, let's go here. I just realized it takes me forever to farm after watching you work that field. Yeah, you can actually water the crops if you hold the left stick in some direction and you just press B quickly. Your character is gonna kind of lock on the field and it's gonna be like super quick. Hina? 
What's wrong? Mommy! She had a dream about her mom, poor kid. Do you have any idea where her mother could be? Before we saved Tina, she and Misa got separated. We've seen neither hide nor hair of her since. Oh no. I see. I miss my mommy. Don't cry, Hina. I'll look for your mother. You will? Really? Yeah. Really? So dry those tears. I'll be back soon. Okay, okay alright. Let's do that. Let's go there. He likes speed farms. <laughs> I'm gonna have to binge your how-to videos after this. Yeah, I don't think there's any trick. Just You just press B quickly and you hold the stick in the direction of your next field you want to water. I think keeping Harvest Moon is fine, but I wish they added to the name so it would be noticeable that Natsume was open about instead of blocking all comments on the change. Yeah, and the fact that, yeah, if they're deleting comments, oops, I'm going the wrong way. I think that's the worst part, right? If they're like deleting comments and like trying to like actively hide it. Like they really don't want people to know, right? They could have called it like a new Harvest Moon or like, you know, something like that. I have a quest to kill three insects for Olivia, but I don't know where to go. So the insects, you can find them right here near the bridge. Right before the bridge here, you'll find the insects. Right here. All right, let's save, just in case. There always... Oh, there's also always three insects in the Belfa floor too, if you have that unlocked. I see. I wish we'd put more effort in the game too, because it went to trash now. Yeah, the Harvest Moon games, yeah. I thought you were speaking about Rune Factory 5 for a second. But yeah, I just played one world. Honestly, I did not play the other ones. Just by looking at them, like you can tell, they're not really high quality games. A voice. Alright. Let's go save Lisa Sagi. Oh, we got our first shield. And should I use the claymore? You know what? I never use long swords. I tried one world, I couldn't continue after the second farm came, is that bad? Yeah, I got... I played it a few times, mostly just to stream it, like just for fun. I got to the beach area, is that... I think that's the second farm, right? But honestly, there's just so many things wrong with that game. I couldn't justify playing it more. Especially when there are so many great and fun farming games out there, it's kind of hard to justify spending time on a game that's not that fun, right? Alright! Oh yeah, I don't have the hammer yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
One World is worse for sure. Olive Town is pretty good. I don't know who told you it was bad. Yeah, Olive Town is fun. It's not the best story of seasons, but it is pretty fun. But yeah, I don't think they can be compared. I don't think it's really, really fair to compare them. All right, let's go beat that bus. I feel like that was really quick. I feel like that dungeon is <laughs> quicker than I remember. I'm gonna save just in case. I think it is fair. One is a good game and the other one belongs in the trash. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, they're like on different levels, right? That's what I meant. Am I the only one that wants an Animal Parade port or reboot? Yeah, Animal Parade is a lot of people's favorite. It would definitely be nice to have some... Because I have not played it yet. So I would definitely like an opportunity to play it like on the Switch or something. Yeah, I feel like the bosses in Rune Factory 5, I wish they were a little bit more challenging. I love Tree of Tranquility, that's one of my favorite, except for the awful audio quality. It was like they all recorded their lines in a big tin can. Yeah, I also have not played too much of Tree of Tranquility, but yeah, apparently it's also really good. I just need every game to get a remake with the addition of gender selection and same-sex marriage. Yeah, that's the issue with these older games. Like, they're fun to go back to, but without... Like, some of them you can only play as a boy, and, like, usually they they would make, like, the boy version, and then a few years later they would make, like, the girl version, usually, like, one year later. Huh? And, yeah, there was never, like, same-sex marriage. So, I feel like just for that reason alone, just like gender selection and same-sex marriage, most games would benefit from having like a remake. I was expecting One World to be bad from the start and Olive Town was a bigger disappointment because I expected more. Yeah, I think that's the thing, right? Like, I did not have any expectations for One World, so it was just kind of fun to see how bad it was. Um, you'll give me a lift? I can understand what it's saying, just like with Fuka. Can you take us to Rigbarth? Yay. A first farm dragon. It's my birthday in game, what happens on my birthday? So if you have friendships over level 5, so if your friends over 5 friendship with some villagers, you talk to them and they're gonna give you something. So check your friends and make sure you speak with all of them. And yeah, they're gonna give you some useful items and most of the items they give you are really useful for like crafting or things like that. So make sure you keep those items that you get. Ambrosia can two shot you on hard in Rune Factory 4 to be first, so can this guy, but not with the beginner's crest. Yeah, honestly. Um, yeah, I remember having some difficulties with the first bus in Rune Factory 4, like the first time I played. Mm -hmm. She's malnourished and in shock, but she doesn't have any serious injuries. All she needs now is rest. I see, thank the gods. Mommy. Poor Hina. Josh. Oh, you want another depth of gratitude? Thanks for getting her back to us. This is from Hina and me. It's the least we can do. What's that? Oh, bread? Yes. 
Oh, so that's the weapon, bread. Alright. Okay, so speaking of bread, let's go to Studio Palmo and let's do some cooking with our turnips. What if my birthday overlaps with a festival or another character's birthday? Does it matter? I think you're, you're gonna be fine. Actually, if it's a festival, it might make it easier to speak with everybody at the same time because they're all gonna be like in the same area. But yeah, I don't think I don't think that's a problem. It's time for me to head out, but thanks for being so cool, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us. Did anyone else have the problem where Mrs. Segi didn't spawn in the clinic again after the first day? Oh, I don't know. Alright, let's go. Oh, the blueprint of the toilet is still here. Oh, is it always here? Is it always on the floor? I don't know. Uh, okay, let's go speak. Oh, can you get our first barn already? Oh, not yet. I think that's gonna come with a request, right? Actually, same for the cooking. I think we're gonna have to get it with a request, right? Oh yeah, okay, I got it. So let's see if I can make a little something for the festival. So can I just, if I just use a turnip? Yeah, pickle turnip. Alright, so we're gonna use that for the festival tomorrow. Oh, and do you actually... Oh yeah, you actually learned it. Why is there two... Why is there two recipes for pickle turnip? This one requires 8 RP, this one requires 20... Oh, that's the pink turn... Oh, okay. That's why. Alright, let's bring this home. I would like to mention that a lot of the issues people had with the left have been addressed and fixed and updates. Just in case anyone is reading these comments and hasn't actually played it. Yeah, yeah, they fixed a lot of things with the Especially with the makers. Like, that makes a big difference. Honestly, like, playing again. I started playing it again recently and makes a huge difference with all of the updates. It's still not perfect. There are still a few things I feel are missing or, like, not that great, but... Overall, it's a pretty good, pretty fun game. Like, I spent so much time on that game. I can't really complain too much about it, but... It's... It's not the... It's not my favorite Star of Seasons game, but it is a good game. You know what? I feel like changing my outfit a little bit. Let's go for... me. I can wear one of the Rune Factory 4's outfit. What about Vishnal's outfit? You know what? Let's go with that. That looks pretty cool, and let's go chat. Let's go chat. Or le yeah, let's check on our requests. Hey, just can we have a video about how inheritance work in Rune Factory Five? Yeah, so I'm gonna make uh, videos on crafting um, eventually. So I'm, I'm kind of working on that. Um, so hopefully, sometime soon. I just want to show off power level in cooking. In the end for a minute. Power leveling cooking in the inn? What do you mean? Sorry, what do you mean? I have a big question about Olive Town. Are there any characters from Mineral Town coming to Olive Town? No, there's no characters from Olive Town. I heard there are. No, there's no characters from other games. Alright, let's give this toy herb to someone. I'm gonna give it to Margaret. Just because she's the first character I see. Do you only get outfits through the DLC or does a clothing shop open up later in game? So yeah, so once... So there are lots of DLC outfits. Uh, but once you upgrade the bakery, I think after two times... Uh, Yuki's gonna sell outfits at the bakery. 
So yeah, there's quite a few outfits you can buy in game. Oh yeah, the deal. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the DLC. So yes, there. Actually, yeah, I should have said that. So there's a DLC in Olive Town that's gonna add characters from A New Beginning and Tree of Towns and Story of Seasons. However, they they kind of stay on their own little island, so they don't really come and live in Olive Town. Um, but yeah, with the DLC, actually, yeah. Uh, buy some food at the general store. Switch between shelves to select different items. And deliver cold medicine to Priscilla. Okay, all right. I was gone for a second. How did he get Margaret? So if you have a save file for Rune Factory 4, um, yeah, if you have a save file for Rune Factory 4, you will unlock uh, Margaret and Doug. Okay, so how come the store is not... Oh, I think the store is actually just gonna open once Mrs. Eggie wakes up, right? Yeah, I think so. Cause, oh no, okay. I thought because I spoke with him like three times. And, okay, alright. So let's go buy... Maybe I can buy some spinach seeds. Is there a store similar to Ravens in Rune Factory 4 that sells stuff we've shipped? So, there's Heinz that actually sells... Oh, did I do something wrong? Um, buy some food at the... J oh, food. Oh, sorry. Oh, did I actually even... Yeah, okay. Yeah, actually, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought she just wanted me to buy something random. Okay, let's buy food. Uh, what I was gonna say... Yeah. Um, yeah, so Heinz will actually sell like random items. You don't need to have shipped them though, but uh, so food, so let's buy rice. All right, that's done. Hopefully I can get the hammer soon. All right, toy herbs, that's good to have. And gather materials, so, oh yeah, so here's the hammer. Try fishing. Let's go fishing. I 
I just expanded my fridge again just to fill it with failed dishes to level cooking. Poor Reinhardt might die tomorrow. Yeah, I always run out of fridge space oh in this game. Especially when you're, yeah, if you're trying to level up your cooking with the fill dishes, it's gonna fill up so quickly. Alright, let me catch everything actually. Not sure if this is helpful, but for those who don't have the flower shop yet, there are some crates near the gazebo by the back click that sometimes drop toy herb seeds. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, because it takes a while before you unlock the flower shop and can actually just buy flower seeds. Which do you like better for the game, sub or dub? I'm currently using the sub voices. Um. So usually, well, I did one full playthrough with the Japanese voices. So now I like playing with the English dub. Have you seen Julian around the little scamps wandered off somewhere again? Seriously, where did he get to this time? I take my eyes off him for two seconds and poof, he's nowhere to be seen. Yikes, sounds like you're having a tough day, Lucy. I'm used to it, though Julian's not the only one I worry about now. I gotta keep an eye on you. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you've lost your memories, right? I know you're not a weirdo or anything, but our girls gotta wonder. Can you really make a life for yourself and Bart? Like, at all? Are you gonna remember to eat your veggies and get enough sleep? Will you get along with your neighbors, say hi to them and send the right greeting cards at the right time? And most important of all, will you be nice to Priscilla? Will she want to be friends with you? I'm serious. When someone's a buy one get seven free special on the worry aisle, <laughs> what? how am I supposed to turn my back on them? Uh, I'm standing right there, you know? Alright, I was in the middle of something. I gotta go find Julian. Better run, see you Josh. If you need anything, just let me know. Thanks? Wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go plant our new spinach seeds. Oh my god, the stamps are growing so fast in this game. I've been hardcore romancing Riker, had to giggle at the date bit with the book title Legend of Thief Kings, Basara, and if I couldn't guess, he was somewhat based on Bakura from Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, so... <laughs> Might use the English voices in another safe file. Yeah. So far, the English voices are pretty good. I really like the Japanese voices. But... Yeah, they did a good job, I think, with the voices in English as well. Alright, I'm kind of scared of like planting too much stuff at first because you don't have that much RP. Alright, I plant that, then I'm gonna go take a bath. Then once I'm done, I'm gonna, yeah, okay, alright, let's go take a bath. Never got into Yu-Gi-Oh either, I was a Pokemon nerd instead. Yeah, I really like, so I never played too much of the Pokemon games. But I was really into the Pokemon anime and the Pokemon movies. I like those quite a lot. Like the first, maybe the first two seasons. Um, What am I looking for? Oh yeah, the bat, sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's go take a bat. I've watched Digimon a little bit as well, but not as much. Oh uh, yeah, I think at 2 p.m. he's gonna go back to work. Yo! Okay, let's wait until 2 p.m.
The movies were so good and the music was always fun. Yeah, I have really good memories of the Pokemon movies. I know people are complaining about how long the days are, but I really like the length. I can get farm work and socializing done. And I still have time to hunt, tame monsters, cook, or mine. Yeah, there is definitely a lot. Uh, like, you can really do everything you want to do in a day. You don't have to worry too much about like choosing what you're going to do today. You can really socialize with everybody, do your farm work, and do a lot of other side activities as well. So that's... That's a really good thing with this game. But I also like... I also like shorter days where you have to really prioritize and like pick what you're gonna do today and like you cannot do everything every day. So I like both styles, but... Honestly, I think I prefer if the day's a little bit shorter, so it's a little bit more like... There's more like time management involved. So I don't mind shorter days, but I also don't mind really longer days, but yeah. Yeah, and you don't have to sleep. Yeah, you can stay awake pretty much all night. Just sleep before 6. So you don't get sick and you can level up your sleeping skill. All right, that's done. So let's go keep, let's go work on our farming. I wish there was an option to fast forward time at least. Yeah, that's one thing I really liked in um, Dorai Monster of Seasons. Like, you could take a nap, and that was really nice, because sometimes, you know, if a shop opens... Like, for example, Murakumo, often he's not in the inn, like, he's not working, and same with the crystal shop, sometimes you want to speak with Heinz, but he's not there until, like, 3 p.m. So, sometimes I wish you could, like, take a nap and just, like, wait, just, like, pass the time. Have you decided on who you want to marry yet? I've not decided yet. Alright, let's see what we gotta do next. Let me just put stuff away here. Hello Josh, I've already heard all about your exploits from Yuki's rumor mill. You've done quite a good deed. Huh? huh? I hereby recognize you as an official stranger. Yay! Um, Spell seal? Hmm. Now pay attention. Press the ZL button and you're done. Easy. Oh, that's it? Oh, was that not enough of an explanation? <laughs> you really have an insatiable appetite for knowledge. Um, is that a bad thing? This tool lets you catch monsters. Only seed rangers may use it. So it also proves that you belong to seed. Like I said, it's easy to use. Press the ZL button to throw your spell at the target and temporarily catch hold of them. Wow, this sounds like a pretty useful technique. You can't catch every monster on the first try though. Some of the more violent ones can be a real harm handful. You'll have no choice but to throw your spell seal at them several times before it works. Once you've restrained the target, you might also end up snatching whatever special items they have on them. Just something to keep in mind, so I should throw my spell seal at monsters over and over again to collect items. Unfortunately, you can't throw it around nilly-willy. Willy-nilly, after you use your spell seal, you have to wait for its cooldown period to end before you can use it again. Ah, I get it. Last but not least, let me tell you how to charge up your spell seal for power catch. If you hold down the ZL button before throwing it, you can connect with your target. 
monsters you forge a connection with will become temporary allies and even fight alongside you. Wow, really? Yeah, really. But they leave after a day, so don't forget it's only a temporary alliance. You can also catch items by charging up your spell seals. If you ever spot an item that's just out of reach, take aim with spell seals and let it fly. Well, I think I've covered everything. Thank you. But I must say, you've managed to surprise even me. Rescuing a missing person is quite a feat, to say nothing of wrangling a farm dragon. A farm dragon? The monster that gives you a lift from the forest. Just as their name suggests, farm dragons have patches of farmlands on their backs. Ah, so that's what the name refers to. Oh, wait, really? On their backs? Yep. In the old days, only people who managed to forge a bond with a farm dragon could visit those fields. Legends say that anything planted there would grow into the finest crops you've ever seen. But you needed a very special kind of power to do that, and the dragons had to approve of you as well. So someone like you is just perfect. But why me, of all people? Who knows? Farm dragons are pretty mysterious creatures. Although we can make some educated guesses, runes and dragons have been deeply intertwined since ancient times. I imagine that the farm dragons absorb runes from the crops growing on their backs, and should any harm befall the land, they create runes from the air. Should any harm befall the land. Wait, you said farm dragons, right? So there's more than one? Ah, yes, there's more than one out there. When someone with the power they seek appears, they make themselves known to them. So maybe you'll gain another farm dragon's favor in the future. I wonder if that will work out. In any case, I'll do what I can to live up to their expectations. Well, aren't you ever the optimist? Though that might not be a bad thing in the long run. By the way, this is just a rumor, but I've heard that crystals are a farm dragon's favorite food. So if you want to get on their good side, you'll probably want to collect a bunch of them. Nice seeing you in live for the first time. Hi, Lidmi. Glad you're able to catch on the stream. Let's talk to Livia. She's cute. I love the ancient child aspect of her character. Yeah, she's really cute. That settles it. I know what you are. You are an Earthmate. Earth? What now? Earthmate. That's what we call gifted humans who can communicate with the creatures and spirits of nature. Earthmates are also known for having green thumbs. They can enrich the land through the simple act of farm work. If nothing else, it explains why you could ride a farm dragon. I'm an Earthmate. A gifted human? I see it doesn't ring any bells. Well, given your memory loss, it is what it is. No need to think too hard about it. Just remember that you're special. And please keep this between us. Can I ask why? Can't wait to marry Livia, but it's only a short cutscene DLC in nine years. Yeah, I think a lot of people would like to marry her as well, right? You'll understand soon enough, being special brings its own hardships. Hardships? Yes, trust me. Alright. What is it? I wanted to discuss wanton monsters. Oh yeah, let's do some of these. A requests. Alright, let's do that. I think you might already be strong enough to at least do the first... The first, the uh, one star, oops. The one star request. Oh my gosh, she's talking a lot, right? Alright, I want to check the wanted monsters list. All right, let's start with this one, Woodlands and South. All right. Let's go there. So I think he's going to be around here. Let's see. Alright, so let's go... I, I don't remember exactly where each of them are, but usually they're not too, too hard to find.
Oh, I think it might be around the bridge. Uh, like around here, no. Uh, maybe in the caves? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, actually still a little bit too strong. Still a little bit too strong for me. Yeah, that's not gonna work, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait until I'm a tiny bit stronger. It's okay, let's do... Let's do the main quest for now. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to sleep. On my Japanese version, I married Reinhardt. He's so adorable, but this time I'm going for Riker. He was love at first sight. Nice. Yeah, that that's the good thing when you play the Japanese version. Now you play the English version. Like you kind of have to go through a second playthrough so you can get to marry different characters. Um, you really do need an endless wooden stone. Yeah, you need a lot. Yes. You always. You never have too much. Also, seed points, you never have too much. I want to make a male character just for Vishnu's outfit. Yeah, it's such a nice... Outfit. I sometimes I wish there some outfits were like genderless. Like you could wear. Like I feel like this outfit you could wear even on a female character. So I wish you could do that. Uh, Josh, hello Hina. Looks like your mother is feeling better. Hehe. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to you. I am Misasagi. Some people said they didn't like her English voice. I think her voice is fine. I just did what anyone else would have done. Gods be good. You're such a kind person. Truly a saint. I shall offer prayers of gratitude in your name. Trice, daily. Ah, there's no need to do all that. Gahaha, <laughs> don't mind her. Misa can be a little bit dramatic, but she means every word she says. Dramatic? Come again, Kumo. I'm a little what now? No, no, please forgive me. I can't believe Murakumo is coring like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see something so distasteful. No need to apologize. <laughs> I promise to repay you. If there is anything I can do, please do not hesitate to ask. With that, I bid you farewell. Um. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing how you do. Oh yeah, today's the contest, the cooking contest. And I've got it. How many seed points do I have? Uh, 936. I can probably... You know what? Let's get some licenses. What do you need for smithing materials and RP? Where can you forge items out of forge? When you have a recipe for a weapon you already own. Um, you need less RP to make it. Yeah, I did it. Let's do it. Directive. All right, let's get our crafting license. To get your own crafting table, buy one from Studio Palmo. When you use materials to upgrade armors, the materials give it additional effects. If you want crafting bread, buy it from Randolph. Yay, I did it! I got my crafting license. Alright, and let's see if there's anything else. Upgrades. I think maybe expanding 
Maybe I should save for a festival. You know what? I'm gonna expand my bag. Then I'm gonna save for the festivals. Alright, that's good for now. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. Okay. Um, place some grass in the fertilizer bin. Okay, let's start with that. Alright, nice job. LT soil needs a good diet of fertilizer, so make sure to add some every day. And don't forget to throw any extra grass or weeds into the bin. Alright, I got some grass, so let's put that right away in here. And then mine iron, smash ore with a hammer to mine iron. Alright, catch a wanted monster. So we're gonna do that and we, we're gonna do these two together. Um, do some, take care of the orcs. Take care of the orcs. Oh, phrase outfits, less outfit. Oh yeah, I forgot this. Actually, less and phrase outfit. So let's do these. I forgot about those. Alright, defeat the orcs. So were the orcs any kind of orc or... Wait, they don't tell you? Mm. Yeah, they just tell you to take care of the orcs, but I'm not sure which orc. Uh, I think if we go out, um, we're gonna find them. I still can't make up my mind on this one. It seems so complicated. Maybe I'll wait and see if it ever comes to PC. That will be happier for my hands to play. I don't think it's... There's a few things that can be complicated, but honestly, like... Like, the crafting can get pretty complicated, but it doesn't have to be, right? Especially, like... You can definitely ba beat the main story without going into the more complicated, like, crafting mechanics. Any arc. Okay, so I think they should spawn right there, right? Oh no, because this one is archer, so I, it needs to be like a non-archer, like a regular. These ones, yeah. Alright, well that was pr pretty simple. Okay, let's go check that chest. Alright, nice. Let's go home. Hello, Andrew. Josh has a Discord. Oh, with Rune Factory channels, it if you want a place to ask and read things about the game. Yeah, there is a disc. The link to the Discord is in the description. So if you guys want to chat about Rune Factory or if you have any questions, there's always a lot of people on the Discord. That can probably help you. Yes. If you have any questions, you can also ask in the chat. But sometimes there's quite a lot of people chatting today. So I'm sorry if I missed anybody's questions. Uh. All right. Oh, and I even got an extra closet. Oh, I got two. Oh, yeah, I got two closets. Um, yeah, I don't have that much space. <laughs> I 
I could just break them, but honestly, I think... Yeah, I don't think I need that many outfits, right? That many um, wardrobes. Okay, I want to put... I want to wear a list outfit. Oh, that looks pretty nice on this character, actually. Yeah, that looks great. Do you go back and reread the chat after you're done streaming? Uh, not really. Once I'm done... Once I'm done streaming... I try to read it as much as possible during the stream. But I don't really go back to it after it, after that. You can put those in various places like the end to just have access to your inventories. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Harvest the potatoes, so that's gonna be ready in a few days. Uh, build a monster barn. I probably have what it... I don't know how much I need, but... Uh, give a giant crystal. I'm gonna wait for this. Use a spell seal. I can do this. I wonder if I can just like... No, okay, I really need to use it on a monster. Okay, let me see if I can buy a barn. Hey right. Josh, do you know what's supposed to happen on 19th Spring on the Flower Festival? Nothing happens for me on the first year. Honestly, I don't remember... What you do on the flower festival, to be honest. I used Dart's breaking trick to make a little changing room next to the beach. It took ages. Oh, that's nice. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, usually I don't place too much stuff outside of my house, in, outside of my room. But yeah, you can actually put furniture anywhere you'd like. Oh, the shop is going to open at 9, right? But, oh, since it's a festival today, I don't think... I don't, I'm not sure if it's gonna actually open or not. Oh, where's Riker? Oh, I think he's downstairs. Frontier does require a lot of time management, but once you have the Rooney system under control, it gets much easier. I see. I just got another crash. Oh, no. I set up a kitchen and fridge and chemistry station in the bathhouse. That's nice, and like, at least you can do something, you can do some cooking or crafting while you're waiting for Murakumo to show up in the bathhouse, because he's never, never there. Let's just wait until 9. I'm not sure if the shop's gonna open. And like the most frustrating thing is actually the like all the in, like in their houses like the furniture is all close together and like it's all close to the wall, so they don't have any restrictions for their houses. But when it comes to your house and the furniture that you do place, there's this huge gap between everything. All right, let's see if I can afford the monster barn. So I think usually at 9.04, 9.05, he's going to respawn. Yeah, I think not today because... Yeah, because of the festival, right? Oh, no. Actually, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no shops today. All right, that's okay. Let's go to the festival... Once I reach end game and have gobs of money I'm not using, I'll see how far I can go with decorating the town. Yeah. I'm just wondering, I don't know if it's gonna like slow down the game if you decorate the town a lot. Hopefully not. Yeah, it's nice that there's a trick, but I wish... 
like there's a nice trick for the furniture but i wish it was built into the game where you can just place things neatly on a grid and you know Because it's so hard, like it's so time consuming if you want to make your room looks, look pretty. Oh, there's an 80 furniture global limit, up to 16 run factory 4, but still. Um, if you put barrels everywhere, you'll hit that pretty quickly. I see. That's good to know though. I truly don't understand why there is no grid. Yeah, that's kind of weird, right? Especially as like in all the farming games like all of these indie farming games are coming out with really great furniture placement So it's kind of weird that this like game with a bigger budget doesn't have any good furniture placement Just gonna do some fishing until 11 Rune Factory live stream, yes. Welcome, welcome to the live stream. I just got my Earthmate edition not too long ago, and yeah, really enjoying the English version of this game so far. And also, I want to make a video on the. All the fish, because there are a few. F so most of the fish y in this game you can get in Rick Barth, but there are a few fish that can only get you can only get in certain areas. So there's gonna be a video on that sometime soon. Once I know what's all the English names of the fish. I found that out when I was decorating my vacation house on my first playthrough. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so maybe I should make sure I decorate that one before I start placing, trying to place too many furniture outside. What's your favorite and least favorite daily task to do? Also, yes, we love a fishing guide. Oh, speaking of daily tasks, I think I think I forgot to water my crops today. Uh, my favorite daily task Actually, I like fishing in this game, even though it's like really simple. I like the fishing. I like farming. I think one thing I like the least would be taking care of the animals, like brushing the monsters. At least you don't have to feed them individually, but just like if you want to brush them and like pick up your milk and egg and all of your products every day can be a little bit time consuming. So. Yeah, I would say taking care of the monsters is my least favorite. And maybe fishing would be my favorite. Fishing and farming. And uh, watering time. Oops. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was... <laughs> no. I oh my gosh. I was looking at the chat. It's fine. It's not going to be too expensive. Ah, uh, yeah, they move. Also, yeah, the monsters in the barns move so fast, so they're kind of hard to brush. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, and I don't think I have anything good I can eat. That's not gonna do much. Oh, what about the rice? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't have much for RP and the bath is closed today because of the festival. Thanks for the heads up about easy shrimps in spring and summer. So many villages like tempura. It's been a lifesaver. Yeah, if you want to get shrimps, you can just fish in the, in the rivers where you don't see any fish. You're going to get a lot of garbage, but also a lot of shrimps. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to eat that. And uh, might be enough. Oh, yeah, that's going to be more than enough to water, to finish watering my crops, I think.
Yeah, your RP goes down so fast at the beginning. Alright, we're done with that. You've done that before and I laugh every time, but it happens because you really care about your chat not laughing mainly. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need to be more careful about that. It's fine. At least I didn't have to pay anything. And even at the beginning, like, you don't lose too much money. I practice lots for the cooking contest. I've got this. What a nice day. Weather like this makes you want to set off on an adventure. For today's cooking contest, I've made something so good that it will knock your socks clean off. Oh, Josh. Hmm. Didn't get enough sleep again? Nope. So many people have asked me to help them out with so many things. Wow, that sounds rough. Now, not that you look too upset about it. I'm not. I like giving our neighbors a helping hand. It's fun and makes me feel warm inside. If you ever need help with anything, just let me know, okay? I'll be more than happy. Ah, uh, sounds more like I should be helping you. <laughs> How about you just get some more sleep? Alright. Yeah, let's just talk with everybody quickly for our relationships and then we're gonna start the festival I don't think I'm gonna do very well but at least I'm gonna try and also when you participate in festivals if you get at least third you still like you get friendship points with everybody do you know what materials you need for weapon upgrades uh, you can use lots of different materials for weapon upgrades I would love a guide on literally everything Ruin Factory 5 related. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot. A lot of guides coming in the next days and weeks. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. There's there's really so many so many things I'd like to cover on this game. Um alright, let's start. I need to give her my give her Oh, I ate. Oh my god, I'm a little bit stupid. I actually ate my pickled turnip. Uh, okay, let's go make some more. Oh, wait, do I have? Oh, yeah, I think I might have some in my shipping bin, maybe. Yeah, I actually just ate my shipping, my <laughs> turnips to water my crops. So, let me see if I may have some in my shipping bin. Hopefully. Let's see. Oh no, no, it already it's already gone. Um Can I enter I don't think I can enter with something I didn't make myself, right? Oh I might be able to make Oh no I don't have the knife. Yeah, I was gonna say I can make like some sashimi or something, but I don't think Hmm Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can really cook. Yeah, let me see if I can enter with a recipe that I didn't make myself, but I don't think that's gonna work. You can, but you won't get a 100 points bonus. Oh, I see. I take a break from <laughs> Rune Factory 5 to get some food and I find just playing Rune Factory 5. Yeah, it's hard to escape. It's hard to escape from Rune Factory 5 right now on YouTube. There's a lot. A lot of Rune, Rune Factory 5 things happening. I'm going home from work now to play some Rune Factory 5. Oh nice, I hope you're enjoying the game so far. Just spike sashimi, then without further ado, let the judging begin. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do too too well. You can make onigiri. Oh yeah, I should have made that with my rice, right? You're right. It's fine. In third place, we have... Oh, yeah. So, I don't think I'm gonna be even... Yeah, I'm not gonna rank at all, I think. Yippee! It's fine. At least I tried. Elshay is first. Congrats. That was amazing. Nice. nice. Oh, did I have a score of zero points? Is that... <laughs> oh, it's fine. At least I got some bread. Yeah, onigiri. Nice. Alright. Let's give this sashimi to... Who would like... 
sashimi. I don't remember. I think. I think. I don't know. Let's give that to Terry. Thanks for this. You're welcome. All right. Let's do some of our requests. So I need uh, smash one. Okay. I need to find iron, harvest a potato, build a monster barn, spell seal. Okay, so I'm gonna use a spell seal. That's gonna give me 7,500, which is quite a lot. And I'm gonna try to find some iron. And also, um, I'm gonna try to get some stone and lumber. Romancing Mrs. Agi and Elsie would be nice. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people have been seeing that today. They are very popular. Oh yeah, I think Fuka, yeah. Fuka and I think Lucia as well, they'll both like fish. Wish they had DLC to romance me Sasagi later. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Even like even the Japanese version of the game, it's been it's been quite a long time since we had any kind of update, like bug fixes or anything. So I don't know if we're actually. Oops, oops. Oh, I just <laughs> just killed the woolly with my watering can. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna have much much more updates. I don't know. Maybe the like the Western audience will have like different complaints than the Japanese audience, and they're gonna fix things. That they were not thinking about fixing before, for example, like maybe the furniture placement or something like like things like that. No. I'm still kind of bummed they didn't have different skin color options for magic candidates. Yeah. There's kind of Fuka is kind of a little bit darker, but still it's not really like And she's kind of like the weird one, so Yeah, in terms of sin color, they're pretty much mostly all the same All right now I want to find some okay, I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat my little dish. Wait, where is it? Oh, I gave it away, right? Okay. Um, okay, it's fine. Okay, let's go mine a little bit. Out of the El Shay exploit, it is annoying to set up, however, I made 1.5 million in 30 minutes. Wow, that's really fast. That is really fast. So is there a seed I can get today? Oh, yes. Orange tree seeds. Yeah, so some people were asking if the seeds were available from the very beginning. So yes, they are. Um, all right, so let's plant that. How do you get anything above a cheap farm equipment? So you need to level up your farming skills and your forging skill. And you're going to be able to make better equipment. Uh, so make sure you buy the anvil. And yeah, just level up your farm skill and foraging and make sure you eat the tool, the farm. Is it the farming bread? Or the tool bread, I'm not sure how it's called. But you're gonna learn new recipes with that bread. Alright, I'm glad to get like... That's one thing I'm doing a lot better than in... Than the first time I played. Oops. Like I already have... Already have an orange tree. And I just started, so that's gonna be good. Let's plant that. Alright, I'm gonna wait before I plant my toy herbs, just because it's taking me a lot of RP just to water everything. Wow, 
Wow, I feel rich now. Okay. Uh, catch a wanted monster, so we're gonna work on that. Oh yeah, and I need to go get iron. Uh, on average, what season year does the story end? I think I'm at the end, but don't want to find major spoilers. It really depends on like at what speed you're going. Oh, that's easy. It actually gives you the crystals. Okay, so I just need to go to the shop to consolidate the crystals. But for me, I finished at the beginning of fall in the first year, but I think someone could finish a lot faster or a lot later if... It really depends on what pace you're going at. But for me, yeah, I finished in the first fall, the beginning of fall or the end of summer or something along those lines. Alright, so let's go find some iron. Is this game worth getting? It looks great. It is a lot of fun, and I've played this game for over 200, like 250 hours now with the Japanese version, and I'm starting all over again, and that's just because I like this game a lot. And I think if you like Rune Factory 4, or if you like farming games in general, you will enjoy it. Um, I finished mid-summer in first year. Yeah, so you can definitely finish pretty fast. Are there three acts in this game? So it's not really separated in arcs like in Rune Factory 4. Um, it's been such a long time since I finished the main story, so... I feel like there's one point where... It, mm, I'm not sure how I would separate it, but it's not really like in Rune Factory 4 where there's like three distinct arcs. Do you know when I can unlock uh, Ludmilla? So you'll unlock Ludmilla pretty late in the story actually. Uh, but yeah, you just have to keep going with the main story and you'll eventually unlock her. There are basically two arcs. They take a mechanic from you briefly. That's the point. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. She's like seven dungeons in. Yeah, it takes takes a little while. Dark ball. We got our first rune ability. All right, so uh, yeah, there's somewhere I want to go. Actually, might be a little bit dangerous, but I want to go in the northeast where you can find a lot of ores. Just gotta avoid the monsters. I want to start a female protagonist, Sefal, but I want to marry Ludmilla on that one. So knowing how far into the story you get here makes me sad. Yeah, it takes a while. I got her dungeon unlocked on Spring 26. Oh, that's not not too bad. But yeah, I've been playing for almost three hours now, and we're we're just on the sixth. Because the days are so long. Alright, so if you come here, you can get a lot of different ores from the very beginning. So that's a good good spot to get ores. Do you know if there are any reverse love confessions like there were in Rune Factory 4? No, there are no reverse love confessions, so you do need to confess by yourself. Do you know where to get the green gems, emeralds, I think? Um, I'm not sure, I don't remember in which dungeons you get them exactly, but I'm pretty sure you get them in the... I'm not sure if maybe in the plains you can get them. Uh, no, I think they're actually a dungeon, but I'm not too sure which one. 
which one exactly. I don't remember like by heart every where you can get every single gem. But I'm pretty sure. Like it's in the dungeon, it's gonna be like in the entrance of the dungeon. Entel's end. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think if you go there at the beginning of the dungeon, you can get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can also change your gender yeah, after the end game. Alright, let's take a look at this. And I'm gonna ship one of these. I'm gonna ship one of everything. Oops. Alright, like this. Alright, 4 p.m. and I don't have too much RP and the bath is closed today, so I think I'm gonna go just finish that request and I'm gonna go to sleep. Yes. Make friends, raise everyone's friendship level to one or higher. That's not gonna be too bad. The main place for emeralds is the lave rune depths. Yeah, I think there's quite a few different places where you can get emeralds. And okay, I need to bring everybody's friendship to level one. And yeah, that's gonna take a little while, but for now, yeah, for now, let's just go to sleep. What should I prioritize to renovate after the bakery and the lack daisy? Um, yeah, I think these are the most important. Um, I think the crystal shop is pretty useful because Heinz sells random items there every day. And the more you have, the more, the bigger the selection of items is going to be. So I think that can be useful, especially as sometimes he sells like lumbers and stone. And I would say the general store also, I'm not too sure eh, what items they add, but the general store is good to upgrade. You know what, I'm just gonna use my sickle. So what I'm doing in my current save file and my Japanese save file, I'm trying to get all of my crops to level 10 because I didn't work on trying to get good seeds from the very beginning. So I'm not gonna do the same mistake in this one. So I'm gonna try like right away to level up all of my seeds so I can have good crops early. So I'm always gonna take like two of my crops to get some seeds, higher level seeds. Oh yeah, the pharmacy for cold medicine, that's a good one as well. Especially as you got so many, you're gonna get a lot of requests of people asking for cold medicine. So actually that's a good suggestion. I don't know about other items, but shipping a level 5 seed would change the seed in the shop to be level 5. So usually, I think you need to sell the crop. So if you sell like a level 5 crop, after that you're gonna get the level 5 seed. I don't think just selling the seed does it though, it really has to be the crop, I'm pretty sure. Yes. 
Oh, it's either the crop or the seed in this game. Oh, well, that's good. That makes it a little bit easier. Should I wait to upgrade stores until a request mention it? Or can I do it whenever? You can do it whenever you like. But I think you're gonna get requests for it as well. But it doesn't matter. Like the If you do it before the request asks for it, then your request is gonna complete automatically. So you don't really have to wait. Alright, let's go take a bath and there's a little event. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go check the sub event. I'm not sure which one that is. You've sure grown up big and strong. Nah, that ain't true. Of course it is. You grew up so fast. Quit embarrassing me. But you'll always be a little cutie in my heart. Oh, huh? Yuki? Darak? Ah, Josh. Ah, it's not often I see you guys together. What's wrong, Darak? You seem kind of down in the dumps. Oh my, are you? I've been telling you to watch your health ever since you were small, haven't I? Honestly, you're going to be a child forever at this rate. I ain't no kid. Oh, you've never you never say much and that worries me. Darak? I'm fine. Well, that's a relief to hear. Yuki, have you and Captain Livia known Darak for a long time? Oh yes. We've known him for a very, very long time. You were quite a handful back in the day, remember? Ah yeah. Darak's not feeling particularly talkative today. And look at you now, you have an apprentice and everything. I never would have imagined it after all the tears you shed back then. So you had a time like that in your life, Darak? Oh, he certainly did. He cried all the time, like when he went looking for R and got lost on the way back. That sounds awful. <laughs> ah yes, that did happen. Everyone worked so hard to find him. I really owed you big time for that. You're not going to wander off and get lost again, are you? I don't think there's any chance for that happening now. Anyway, I think it's about time I got going. Is the field captain here? Oh, it's you, Simon. Why are you here? What are you talking about? You asked me to bring you these. What's that? Oh, right. I did ask you to do that for me. Please don't let something like that slip your mind. Well... If it isn't Darak. Uh, hi there. We were just reminiscing about the old days with him. Well, doesn't that sound like fun? Speaking of fun, do you remember the time he... <laughs> Josh, I gotta get out of here while I still can. See ya. Uh, sure. Bye. Poor Darak. Everybody's trying to embarrass him. And why are you off to in such a hurry? Be careful or you'll trip and fall. <laughs> Poor Darak. We can't tell this story without its star. Ooh, Oddity's member for two months. Hi Josh, glad to see you still on the fence about starting New Rand Factory games, but I generally like old school JRPGs the best. Yeah, you should give it a try, or maybe you can wait, maybe the price is gonna go down or something, but I think it's definitely worth giving it a try. Seeds are always cheaper than crops, so buying the seeds is cheaper. You'll need access to the shops to buy more. Yeah. Derek, just give up and take a seat. I would, but I really need to get some work done. Come on, do you really hate talking to us that much? No, that ain't true. Then stay a while and chat with us there. Okay. I feel sorry for him. Yeah, I do. Poor Derek, he really seems like he wants a hole to open up and swallow him in that scene. Yeah. Definitely. You had a rough time back when you first started blacksmithing too. Oh yes, you weren't careful about balancing your books, so your business was in trouble right off the bat. But I always admired your desire to deliver affordable products to your clients. 
Even though you were a complete failure as a businessman. <laughs> Darok looks like he wishes the earth would open up and swallow him whole. Oh, didn't someone just... Yeah. Someone just said that in the comments. <laughs> but everyone pitched in to help keep this midi from going under. So it all worked out in the end. Yes, those were some good times. Darok's face suggests they were anything but... <laughs> I think you two will always see Darok as a child. You look like a deflated balloon, Darok. Are you okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I've got an especially juicy story to share. Do you know? Uh, do you know? What about? Hang on a second. I'm not sure Darak can take much more of this. What are you talking about, Josh? I'm a doctor. If he does kill over, I'll examine him right away. Don't worry. He won't die of embarrassment. I don't doubt that, but... Uh, I almost forgot. I brought some bread with me. Why don't we eat it while we continue our chat over there? Hey, there's an idea. Hi Josh, hi Diego, hope you're doing good. What controller are you using? I'm using a pro controller. They're gone, I'd better get going myself. Okay. <laughs> are you alright? I could walk you back to this meeting if you'd like. Nah, don't worry about me, I'll head back by myself. Tarak is really like... Is like any being when trapped by the grannies who remember every stupid thing you did as a small child. Yeah. Sorry for the confusing question, should have asked in Discord. No worries. I'm glad I'm glad you found your answer from someone. Alright. So what next? I think we yeah, let's go to the bathhouse. And yeah, let's do that. Oh, I think oh no, okay. I couldn't hear the game anymore for a few seconds. I thought there was something wrong, but I think it's fine. I think we're fine. You know, one thing that bugs me is that the grass color here around the restaurant is always different than the grass color everywhere else. Like, it just really stands out. I'm not too sure why. In most farming games, I'll buy two harvests worth of seeds and keep them in the chest in case I have I harvest my crops on a day when the store is closed. Oh, that's smart. But yeah, the stores are almost never closed in this game, so it's not too much of a problem. They hired pro landscapers. Oh, maybe that's why their <laughs> their grass is greener. I was seeking a new home for Hina and myself, so this is a truly fortuitous. But are you certain it's all right? Yeah, yeah, Terry. If you give up the store, where is that gonna leave you job-wise? A private eye in this peaceful town? Peaceful on the surface, sure, but there's a seedy side. I can't walk two feet without tripping over some new incident. A pair of specs vanish. A door is locked from the inside. Even the everyday brings a puzzle, a new puzzle every day. No matter how small the mystery, Terry's detective agency will take the case. What? Okay. Hey, it's Josh. So you're moving into Terry's general store? That's correct. I told him that I was looking for a place to live and he graciously offered up his own business. This town is filled with kind souls. I've really been loving the game so far. Really nice to see you streaming it after not being able to catch any of your live streams for a while. Yeah, I wish I, I wanted to stream it earlier, but it took me a while, even though I pre-ordered the game. They shipped it pretty late, but I'm glad I have it now. And there's definitely going to be more Rune Factory 5 streams in the future. This is just the first one. I don't think, I don't know if, I don't think I'm going to be streaming my whole playthrough because that would take some time. But I'm gonna be streaming it quite a bit. Alright. So, where to next? I think that's all for today, right? In terms of the what I can do for the main quest. Josh, did you have a nice trip? Yes, I did. It was so much fun. 
So we went to... Like, we were in Delhi for 48 hours. The first day, I didn't do much. Then, on the second day, we went to the Taj Mahal. And it was my first time going there. And we got there, like, very early. We left our hotel at around, like, 2 a.m. To get there for sunrise. So there was not, like, too many people. And the weather was really nice. And it was really beautiful. And so that's what we did. And then we went to Dublin. And we didn't stay in Dublin for too long, so we just went to some, like, Irish pub, and, like, we had some fish and chips and stuff, so that was really good, that was really fun. And, yeah, so I came back yesterday, and a little bit jet-lagged, but it was a lot of fun, honestly, oops. That was so much fun. But, yeah, so even today I'm still a bit sleepy. Oh, yeah, I want to check if I can buy, um... Okay, I want to take a bath, actually. And I'm gonna check if I can buy a barn. Monster barn. That happens in farming games a lot. The first day of a new season, but the seed shops closed. Oh, yeah, that's true. But also one thing is that in this game, crops are not really seasonal. Like, they have seasons where they grow faster and seasons where they grow slower, but they're not, like, s very strict. So it's not too much of a problem in this game. Hi. How are you? Only thing that bugs me is that Murakumo is never at... And they actually fixed this in an update because I think he used to be even worse. But he's never, like, working... I think maybe around 10. He Maybe it opens at 10. I swear I don't go through a stream without getting hungry. Fish and chips sounds so good. Yes, fish and chips. So good. And I'm getting hungry too. <laughs> do you do a lot of gaming outside of YouTube? What would you like to play if you didn't have to take viewers into account? So, I do, but recently, because I'm just so busy making videos on Rune Factory 5 and always making videos on all of these different games, honestly, currently, I play mostly just, like, farming games or, like, games that I play for my channel. Uh, if not, usually, I like JRPGs. So, I've been wanting to play Shin Megami Tensei 5, and I have the game, but I just... It's still sealed. I have not played it yet. Uh, because I've really been wanting to play it. And I also really want to play Triangle Strategy. But, yeah, I really like RPGs, but they just take so much time. So, because it takes me, like, I have to spend a lot of time on my channel. So, I don't play other games too much. But, if I had more time, I would definitely play a lot of other games. Oh, yeah, only Starcrafts will, yeah, will wilt the season's changeover. Yeah, that's true. Uh, SMT is great. I got my hands on the first game for PS1 last year. Nice. I've not played... So, actually, I've never played the older SMT games. I like Persona, so I played Persona 5. I really liked. So, I wanted to try Shin Megami Tensei 5. But... Yeah, I just didn't have the time. But yeah, I like JRPGs like Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Fire Emblem. Um, oh yeah, I want to take a bath, right? Anyone know how many floors are in the Rick Bart maze? There are 20 floors. Oh, how are you guys so fast? This game just came out last week and everybody's, everybody's already at the Rick Bart maze. Someone said earlier they were already in year 3. I don't know how you guys do it. I've not even finished the maze and I've played like... Oh, I can actually take a bath even if he's not at the counter. Never played any of the SMT games, but I've played Persona 3.5. Nice. Yeah, I hope I can go back to the older games eventually. eventually. I think I play a lot with Nostalgia Glasses, and that's why I enjoy some of the older style games. Yeah, but you know what? Even without the Nostalgia, I think a lot of older games are just 
Really good, even if the graphics are not that good. I used to like fish and chips and then I was kind of forced to turn vegetarian. Oh, how come you were forced to turn vegetarian? What happened? While waiting, you can exchange your crystal. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna exchange my water, my ice crystals. I forgot about that. All right, let's do that. S chatting a lot. Okay, let's see his rotating stack. Nothing really interesting today. All right, let's trade crystals, glasses, crystal. All right, so let's go on our farm dragon. I was forced to turn vegetarian because I picked up an intolerance to animal proteins and eggs. Oh no. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know that could happen. Like getting an intolerance like later in life. Someone's a fast reader, that or impatient. Yeah, <laughs> well, I read pretty fast, but I... Honestly, when it's just like the tutorials, I don't read everything. That field is so small at the beginning. How are you on day 7 on under 3 hours? Each day is an hour or longer for me. Yeah, one day is 48 minutes. But sometimes I go, like honestly, sometimes I go to sleep like... Some days I went to sleep around like 3 or 4 p.m. But actually the first two days, the first, no, the first three days are just like cutscenes. So you can go through the first three days pretty quickly. And then three hours, so like maybe one hour for the first three days. And then, yeah, something like that. And I just started the seventh day. I've heard you could become allergic to red meat after a certain tick bite. Ooh, that's scary. I didn't know that. Does anyone know if you can have uh, harem in Rune Factory 4? Apparently that was a thing in Rune Factory 4. Uh, well, you can date multiple characters at the same time, but you can only marry one character. So that's not really something you can do. I don't know how it was in Rune Factory 4, if that was any different. Um, okay, I'm gonna sell my spinach. The Lone Star Tick will do that. I see. I got two baby guinea pigs to raise and I've always been allergic to hay. Which is a problem when that's the main part of their diet. Oh no. Likely I've developed a resistance since I got them. That's good, right? So you can grow resistance to some allergies. I remember like my parents. Like my dad used to be allergic to dogs and cats like really bad. But then for some reason we decided to have a dog. And after a few years, like after that he was fine. And now he has like three cats and like he's definitely no longer allergic. So that's interesting, right? All right, so what should I do? Let's check our request. Um, harvest a potato, build a mon- Oh yeah, let's see if we can make the bon uh, monster barn. I've always wanted cats, they're so cool. I live with my parents though and my mom despised litter boxes. Yeah. I like animals, but yeah, litter boxes can be kind of a pain. Especially if you have like a small 
small house or like a small apartment. I'm at an uneasy point in the storyline where you can't use the seal spell anymore. Been a few in-game days progressing the storyline to get it back. Yeah, that, that little bit is annoying. But yeah, you're gonna get it soon enough. Yeah, the upgrades are so cheap at the beginning. Uh, let me see. I would like to renovate. Oh, I need a little bit more wood, but I want to renovate the bakery. I think the cats are worth the letter cleaning. I love my baby girl too much to care about her letter cleaning. Yeah, it's such a small thing. But for me, I'm not... Like, as much as I love animals and pets, I'm not home enough. Like, I'm away from home too often to... Like, I would need to find someone to, like, always take care of them. Um... Oh yeah, I just want to get more lumber. And then after that, maybe I can go... Go get a brush and try to go tame some monsters. I had to put the lumber stone next to Palmo Star because in order for the lumber and stone to count, it needs to be in the bin. Yeah, so usually what I do, I always put a bin on... Well, now I just started, so I don't have it yet. But usually I put one in each... Each farm dragon. So whenever I chop some wood, I can just put it there right away. At least you understand that some people take them on without the time or enough love for them to maintain them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you need to think about that before you adopt some pets. Make sure you have the time and energy to take care of them. I do that, but sometimes you need like one stone or one wood and you can gather them nearby, but you have to go all the way home. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Alright, so I should have enough. 99, yeah, alright. So I'm gonna upgrade the bakery. Are the farm dragon upgrades temporary? So, if you give them Terra crystals to expand the field of your size, that's permanent. Um, if you go to Studio Palmo to add monster barns, that's permanent too. But the other crystals, all of their effects are temporary. The nice thing is that you have farming games to turn to whenever you get the animal baby itch. Yeah, that's true. If, if all of my animals are all virtual. And that's more, that's more than enough for me. Uh, okay, let's start with the bakery. And, and let's see if I can buy a little... Oh, no. Uh, I want to see if I can buy a little anvil. Yes, I can.
America. Let's bring this home. I really miss the season fields. Yeah, I kind of wish we had seasonal fields. I'm not sure why they didn't decide to keep them. The nice thing about virtual animals is that they can't choose through important cards. Yeah, I know that. I used to have a dog and one time... Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, one time she ate my GameCube games. So, like, all of my game cases had, like... Uh, they were all chewed up, like the cases of the games. That was a little bit sad. Oops, I was gonna put my anvil there. I forgot. I don't have that quite yet. Um, yeah, your room is so small, right? In this game at the beginning. Okay, let's make a weapon. So, I always play with the jewel swords. But I feel like in this playthrough, I'm gonna do things a little bit different. Claws and fangs, I don't have that. Maybe I can make a short sword. Oh, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. What if I... Let's see what that does. Oh, that's a broadsword. Maybe I should go... You know what? Let me go buy some recipe bread. Dogs was the bomb. You know what? I never played Dogs. I've always wanted to try it, but I never did for some reason. I just plurge wood and points to have Palmo upgrade my Earth Dragon Monster Barn to the max so much space to put monsters. Yeah, once the barns are upgraded to their full capacity, you really have a lot of space. Hard, Why is she not sell- Why is she not- Oh, I think I have to speak with Randolph. Alright, let's get some recipe bread. So I'm gonna get weapon bread today. And let's buy... Maybe a farming bread. Alright. Steel sword. Alright. And a rod. And another steel sword. Alright. How do you buy four bread? I only get two, so I upgraded the bakery. If you upgrade the bakery, you're gonna be able to buy more every day. Yeah, I think I'm not friends enough. I think you need to be friendship level three for people to fish with you. I'm just gonna fish by myself. What should we do? What should we do for the rest of the day? Oh, let me see if there's new requests since I upgraded the monster barn. I'm probably gonna have a request to tame a monster. So let me see if there's that. I can probably get a little buffamo and a little chicken. Let's check. Oh, yeah. So I've got the brush. Alright, so let's go get our first few monsters. I'm just gonna take a bath first because I don't have much RP. 
Um, do you have a review video for this game out? Yes, yeah, so I do have a review I uploaded last week. Uh, so feel free to check that out. It's a pretty long review, but if you're not sure whether you want to get this game or not, I think that's going to help you. Uh, how do you find the translation so far? Do you disagree with anything like the developers wrote into this game? So far, as far as I can remember, uh, I think it's pretty much pretty well done, pretty similar. Like, I would say some of the voices are quite different. But for the actual text, I think so far, so good. I really admire that you can game in Japanese. <laughs> One of my goals for learning Japanese to be able to read light novels and play games that haven't been translated yes, yet. Yeah, that's definitely a great perks. Like, just being able to play games before their international release. Love your channel. Oh, thank you so much, Holly Lisa. I'm glad you're enjoying. I got my grandma, oh nice, into HMSOS and Dragon Quest. I'm trying to get her into Rune Factory, but she gets mad if she dies just she's been watching me play. That's so nice, her grandma sounds so cool. Yeah. I didn't have that many people in my family that were like into video games. But that sounds so nice to be able to play farming games with your grandma. Like that's one thing I really like about these games is that they're really accessible to a lot of people. And like even in Rune Factory you can put the combat on easy and it makes the game really accessible. Back from making my custard buns, they were okay needed work. Oh well, at least... At least you didn't fail them, right? At least they were okay, right? Maybe next time... Maybe next time they're gonna be better. But that sounds pretty delicious. I had older siblings, so my entrance into video games was the classic Doom and GTA. Not exactly kid-friendly. Yeah, that's very different. Okay, let's try to get... I'm gonna try to get eggs from them first. And I'm gonna use these eggs to tame them. They're not giving me a lot of stuff. Egg, okay, one egg. Alright, so let's try this. I'm gonna brush them. How do you get access to the guiding tower? You mean the big tower in the center, this one? That's the rig bar Maisie will unlock it uh, after the main story. She used to play Final Fantasy VII when I was at school. I would come home so much to so much gold and XP. She's always been into video games. She's the best. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's so nice. So she's been playing games for quite a long time, if she was playing Final Fantasy VII. It's not just like a recent thing. Yay! Cuckoo! Alright, All right, so that's one monster. Let's get another one. I think just said he lived in Japan for two years. I assume most his reading skill come from that. Yeah, exactly. I used to live there for a few years, like two years, a little bit more. But now I'm back in Canada. Did you guys see that video of the 87 years old who play Animal Crossing? Yeah, I've seen, yeah. Yeah, I remember when she did a video on New Leaf and now she's been playing New Horizons as well. Oops. Okay, let's get some milk. It's so nice that you can get items from monsters like very quickly like this. Oops. Oops. They would be not so bad that you don't want to taste them. They're okay. Just some texture issue issues, but the cookies later should be better. That's nice. There's also another lady on YouTube called Food for Dogs and she plays RPGs. 
Yes, I know. Actually, she made a video on Rune Factory 5 recently, kind of like unboxing of the Earthmate or Limited Edition. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I take a look at her channel quite a lot. Yeah, she plays a lot of RPGs and like she's very knowledgeable after like about all the games that she plays. Like she knows like little things about all the different series and like like she's not just like playing games like casually, like she's really like knowledgeable about everything. And I don't know, she she's so interesting to listen to. Alright, so let me go tame a woolly. And after that, I'm gonna have my little trio of. An you know what? Maybe I should get another buff. I'm, you know what? Yeah. I think woolies are not that important, honestly. There, there. Just gonna try to get another there. buff. Move. I liked her little Morgana plus on the chair behind her. Yeah. She always had like lol Not accessories like lol decor like lol lol plushies and stuff Why is he running so much? My mom passed last year at 67, but she was a little old gaming lady to the end. Oh, that's so sweet But sorry to hear about that I don't have any more milk, so I'm just gonna try with random. Oops. Just gonna try with random items. Yay! Maybe we can try taming uh, the nine tailed fox. I don't know if I'm too weak. I don't know. Let's try. If you don't try, you don't know, right? So let's. I'm just gonna tell these guys to go back home. Yeah, let's try. I don't I don't know how that's gonna go, but let's try. Hello everyone. Hi Emily. Hope you're doing good. I'm a be real. Rune Factory 5 is not going to be my jam, but I'm really enjoying hanging out with you all. Yeah, it's not for everybody, but I'm really enjoying it still. So, all right. So if you guys don't know how to tame this one, you just first you need bells because that's the items that he likes. So you just need to wait until the luck goes away. And then you can do your spell seal. And it takes a while. It takes a while before he actually does it. Before the luck goes away. I think now. No. How come? I think you might have to deal... I don't... I think you might have to beat him a little bit before the luck actually starts disappearing. It's been such a long time since I tamed him last time. I'm not sure why the luck is not going away. Oh, okay. There it is. Up. And yeah, so that's the tail. That's the bell that you need. And then you just go back here. Because you can only get one bell every time. So you need to come back and get another bell. Everything like one by one. Um, I want to see all the love interest stories, but I also feel weird about dating multiple people in the game. Yeah, yeah, for me, I, I didn't date all the characters. I saw like their first events, but I didn't see the dating events for everybody. The icon on the map kind of looks like a crab. You know what? It kind of does, yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's faster if you actually deal a little bit of damage, just because it's, he gets kind of enraged, and I think that's when the luck appears a little bit less. I was building up regular level monsters and then some tough guy killed me out of nowhere. Oh no! Yeah, you have to be careful because sometimes <laughs> if you go out, like you can have some really easy monsters and then out of nowhere, you just walk a little bit more and then the monsters get really tough. I think the luck goes away faster once its health bar goes into the purple region. Yeah, I think so. Mrs. Sagi just mistook me for Murakumo and verbally bit my head off. Oh no! <laughs> I'm now scared of her. So I'm gonna try to get like 10 bells maybe before I try. You can, you can try with less and just like save and reload but... I was farming sirens to sell the melody bottles and realized just how weak I was. Yeah, I think the siren is pretty, pretty strong. I'm not sure. Because I started farming melody bottles when I was like a little bit overpowered. And also the sirens in the Japanese version of the game, when it launched, they were really overpowered. So if you had a siren with you, they would be really, really strong. But that's been patched out. Do you know how far you need to take a weapon skill before you can make all the weapons in the category? Mmm, I think maybe at level 90 or something you're gonna have pretty much all the recipes. I know it's hard to multitask, I wash dishes to these streams and I have to try to type out in the chat with wet hands. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that sounds tough. Especially like if you're... If you're on a computer it's not too bad, but if you're typing on your phone... With wet hands, that's really tough. I'm so lucky I'm getting all of... Because you can also get like crystal fragments. So I just find myself really lucky because I've been getting a bell every time. What's your favorite weapon or magic to use? So I've been using mostly... Um, dual swords. Or dual blades. I'm not sure how they're called in English exactly. Twin blades, maybe? Anyway, that weapon. Uh, they're dual blades. And... Because I just like how fast they are. But I think in this playthrough, I'm gonna go with something different. So maybe longsword, or... Don't say that, you're gonna jinx it. Yeah, right? Well, I'm almost... How many do I have? I already have six, so you know what? I'm gonna get one more. I'm gonna get one more and then we're gonna try taming. I have the stream playing on the YouTube app on my Fire TV and then chat open on the YouTube app with my phone. Oh, I see. I like being a mage though. Maybe, you know what? Maybe that's what I should try because I never use... Honestly, I never use magic. Oh, yeah, I did jinx it. <laughs> I never use magic in these games in Rune Factory. Maybe I should try to do that a little bit more on this playthrough. I'm eating while watching the stream. Oh, nice. What are you eating? I'm gonna have to eat lunch soon. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna eat yet. Stab is for magic. I'm a magical girl. Yeah, maybe I should try... Maybe, yeah, I think I'm gonna try magic, actually. I don't know if it's really strong in this game because I never really used it. Just you play the sword art online games at all. So you know what? I started playing... I think it was Hollow Realization. I started playing it. But... I just got so busy with all of the other games that I never finished. I really have not played it a lot. But it looks interesting. But I think it was a little bit like confusing at first. I'm not sure why I stopped playing. I, I don't know if it's just because there were too many other games or... I think I was a little bit confused as well.
I wanted to do a mage build, but the wait time after casting a spell killed me, as you may know, I have no patience. Yeah, I know there's a way. There's an item you can craft to upgrade your staffs to make the casting time and like the waiting time like faster. I'm not sure which one it is exactly, but... Oh, did I save? I think I saved, right? Beforehand. Oops. Okay, alright. I think I brushed enough. And now... Out there, let's find our bells. Can you imagine if I get it on the first? Oh no. I always struggle when I, <laughs> I try to give them items. Because if you throw them, it doesn't work too well, and sometimes I, I just like put it on the ground by accident. Oops. Nope, no luck. Alright, we've got three more bells. I can't see what's happening. Alright, last bell. Last chance. Oh, yes. Oh, that was very lucky. Nice. Squeaker. That's kind of a weird name, right? Anyway, let's go with this. You can... I'm pretty sure you can change the name after, right? That's a weird name. Okay, all right. So that's done. Let's go back home. So does this game technically just go on forever, even if you beat the game? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, you can just keep playing. And there's so much to do, like if you want to... Like... The main story can be finished pretty fast. But there's just so much to do if you want to 100% the game. So you can play a lot. Alright, I'm glad I managed to get him very early, just on day 7. You could even get it earlier if you want. But that's gonna be pretty helpful. Okay, you know what, let's just go to sleep. I went with Q. Yeah, I think the default Japanese name is Q. I'm excited to try to get as close to 100% as I can. Yeah, that's gonna take a while, but... I'm trying to do that with my Japanese save file. And, well, I'm still far away for this one, but, yeah. Alright, that's done. Congratulations, thank you! Hey Josh, how can I date Reinhardt? I finished the second arc and has nine hearts, but he still rejects me. So you can declare your love once. So you need to make sure you have finished all of um, his love events, like the first love events. And after that, you're gonna get a random chance of him accepting your love declaration. But if he refuses, you have to get your friendship level one level higher. Friendship point one level higher, and then you have to try again. So if he rejects you at level 9, then you have to try again at level 10. And if, if it fails at level 10, you have to try again at level 11. So what I would recommend you do is... Uh, so you need to increase your friendship by one point now. And if it still doesn't work... Um, yeah, just save before you ask him, actually. So just save, and then you try, and if it doesn't work, you just reload your save file and try again. But since he already refused now at level 9, you're gonna have to wait. Bring it to level 10.
Yeah, so you can propose, uh, well, you can date from level 7, but, yeah, the higher, like, if you're level 8 or level 9, your probability of them accepting your dating is gonna be a little bit higher. But, yeah, I would recommend just saving your game before you try. Alright, so let's go check on our little monsters, and I don't know if I can continue the main... Yeah, let me check what I need to do for the main story. Teria is interested in me, so like with the general stuff. Okay. Oh, I think from 7pm the new event is gonna appear on the map. So usually most events appear at 7, uh, 7 a.m. I mean. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see if anyone recognizes this and name my first car Momu. No, I don't know where is that from. I beg of you, teach me your ways. I want to become a great detective just like you, Terry. Who's great? I literally just opened my doors. <laughs> don't be modest. For as long as I can remember, I've watched you unravel one riddle after another. I won't move from this spot until you make me your apprentice. This is going nowhere fast. Um, Great timing. Back me up on this. There's no glory in being a private eye. Take up a trade and go into a real apprentice appre apprenticeship like Martin. No way. no way. I want to become a detective and find our parents. Find parents. Is that what this is about? Fine. You win. Call yourself my apprentice or whatever you like. You really? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry. You, won't you won't regret it. We'll see about that. Let's say hi to Terry. Morning, nice day out, huh? For gumshoes, gumshoes? Like me, this kind of weather is great for doing some legwork. As a detective, it's my job to suspect everybody. Maybe I'm just being contrary, but I get this urge to trust folks instead. Kind of ironic, huh? The Fire Emblem series is fantastic. I still need to get my hands on the GameCube game, but I can't justify spending 200 on a single game. I know I'm so mad about this because they're like, especially on the GameCube, there are so many GameCube games, including Fire Emblem, that I really wanted to buy when I was young. And like the games, they were like $50 or something, or even like cheaper, right? They were like really like regular price, but I was like really broke because I was like 10 years old, 12 years old. And I couldn't get them, and now they're all so expensive. Like, I remember one game, like Chibi Robo on the GameCube. I've always wanted to get it. I remember, like, I was like I was subscribed to, like, Nintendo Power, like, the magazine. And they were, like, showing off Chibi Robo, and I always wanted to get that game. But I just didn't have, like, the 50 or $60 to buy it. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it later. And like, I think the Wii came out not too long after, so I bought a Wii and everything instead. And now that game is like $300. And sometimes I try to get, like, sometimes I go on eBay and I try to bid. Like, sometimes it's, sometimes some of them sell for a little bit cheaper, so. But, yeah, I've always wanted that game. It's super expensive. Like, a lot of GameCube games are so expensive, right? Grand Bazaar is 101 on eBay. Oh my gosh, that's so expensive. Actually, for the all the Harvest Moon games, I bought the Japanese versions. Unfortunately, um, well, I think the DS, I think the, the 3DS is region locked, but I don't think the DS was. Uh, but the Japanese versions are so cheap, so I think I, so I bought all of the DS and 3DS like Harvest Moon slash Star of Seasons games, and they were all like 20, like 2,000 yen each. Between 1,000 to 2,000 yen each was like 10 to 20 dollars each. So they're so cheap. But of course you need to read Japanese a little bit. But I think... Yeah, they're... They're really cheap if you go on Amazon, like Amazon Japan, they deliver worldwide, so that's where I bought them. All 
The one time I lost a festival, Lucia was like so obnoxious, literally the final straw. <laughs> I feel the same way I do about Cecil as I do about Lucy and Priscilla. They just look too young for me to be having kids. Yeah, I don't think Priscilla and Lucy look too young, but yeah, Cecil definitely looks very young. All right, so got some milk. No eggs yet. Oh yeah, I don't have fodder, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy a little... Um, I think I do have some fodder seeds, actually. I'm gonna plant some fodder here. Yeah, four seeds. Supposedly there's a way to patch the games. Oh, maybe maybe you can look into that if you buy the Japanese version and you get some patch to translate it. Maybe you could look into that because there's like there's so much cheaper, like a lot cheaper. Alright, so that's done. Just want to make sure my crops are all watered. Oh yeah, I forgot one here. Alright, let's see if there's anything for the main... I think there's a sub-event there. Maybe we can look at that. That's what I meant. It's super complicated though and you need like a Retron 5 sort of device. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's other ways. Maybe if you mod your DS or something, but I'm not... I don't know too much about that, so... Oh, right. you could always emulate it, but it's not the same as playing on a real DS or a 3DS. I dislike Cecil the most because it reminds me too much of the detective from Unified Gear 4. She annoyed me way too much. Um, Alright, let's... What should we do? Let's take a look at our request. Harvest the potato, wanted monsters. I think we, may, we might be a little bit stronger now. Let's try to redo... Uh, maybe the arc was a little bit too strong, but maybe the goblin we should be able to handle it, especially now with my Yeah, let's try this one more time I like long lessons on emulation, but just for hanging on my couch the physical original device are the best. Yeah Definitely Um, okay, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, all right, let's do that. Okay, let me start. I think the slime is gonna be easier. On my other playthrough, I waited so long before doing the wanted monsters, bounties. So I was kind of like all overpowered when I did them. By lessons, I totally meant sessions. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't sure. I didn't question it too much, but I wasn't sure what you meant by a lesson. <laughs> yeah, that makes sessions makes more sense. All right, so if I'm not wrong, I think the slime should be. Oh, there's so many chests. Okay, I think the. Slimes should be just around the bridge. 
I kind of wish the town changed more along with your life changes. Yeah, that would kind of like in a wonderful life. Or like... You know, where people grew up or... In Magical Melody, where people... There were more people moving in, like new shops and people moving out. Or like... Yeah, um, oh yeah, I also wish there were a little bit more changes, or like rival marriages. Alright, so here's our slime. Let's see if he's still overpowered. Oh no, okay, I should be able to handle him. Oh no, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm dealing... Okay, let me just get rid of all of the other monsters first. Oh my gosh, no, 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 I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. It's so weird, because on my, on my other play three, I'm so overpowered, so, oops. Which is not the case now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful. Oh no, 363, it's not too bad. Alright, let's take a bath. And let's try that one more time. I'm just gonna get rid of the, all the woolies first. Let's just take a bath. Maybe I can check if I can make a slightly better weapon. You don't wake up the next day. Yeah, you wake. So, yeah, you don't skip a day in this game when you're, when you collapse. So there's not too much consequence beside the fact that sometimes you have to pay money. But yeah, it's not as bad as in other games where you like skip a whole day. I wonder if you ever find out what happened to the doctor's eye. I don't think you do, do you? No, I don't think you do. I'm not sure. How long did you wait for that to happen? For what? Um. I lost all my money dying twice in a day. I was passed out. I was like 30. Land, that's a lot in year one. Yeah. And like the percentage of money you lose, I think depends on your level. So at the beginning, at the beginning, you don't lose that much. But later on, it's going to cost you like, I think like in my other save file, if I die, it's up almost, almost like 100,000 that I lose. Okay, there it is. I remember you always being broke when you stream this because you faint so much and refuse to take precautions. Yeah, well, it's fine because it's quite easy to make money, right? So, even if you die once in a while, it's not too bad. Oops. All right, so I think I think my monster, yeah, my monster is dealing a little bit of damage, so I'm just gonna squeaker. I'm just gonna do this and this one. And yeah, so I'm just gonna lower its damage to maybe like 25% or something. Oops, my monster is gonna die. Yeah, these m wanted monsters are actually pretty tough at the beginning. Okay, like this, and then... Yay, that's done. 
Alright. I did the archer, then fairy and slime was last. Yeah, I tried the archer a little bit earlier, but he was actually... I couldn't deal any damage to him. Alright, like this. Yay, that's done. Uh, weapon bread. Alright, let's see what's next. So let's try the fairy. Up. Right. Okay, you know what? Let's try to make a rod, magic rod. Uh, make a weapon. Make a staff. Let's make an amethyst rod. Let's see how that goes. Uh, I'm gonna take another bath. And after that, I'm gonna try to go get the fairy. Faint is too up when the enemy uses it in Rune Factory 5. Yeah, in the end game, there are some enemies that's gonna knock you out in just one one hit with the um, the faint thing. So you gotta really avoid avoid their attacks. They're kind of tricky. I think they're pretty much the only monsters that I found tricky in the main story, like in the dungeons. All right, let's take a bat. At least I finally just got cure. Oh, nice. Yeah, that makes a big difference once you got some healing spell. All right, so let's go see that Fairy, so where is she? Oh, I forgot. Oh, let's actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go back here. Let's just go to the board first. Can you imagine people only marrying Lucy to get her healthcare benefit? <laughs> do you get. Do you actually get any discount if you marry her? Oh no, there's no more requests for now. Alright, so let where is that fairy? Uh central region. Faint resistance doesn't show up in text on gear in English. Oh really? But it's still there. That's weird. One of the localization glitches they introduced. I see. Did you find out a lot of other glitches like that? Hopefully they can fix it. Alright, so central... Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be... Um... Like around here. I don't remember exactly where that one appears. Somewhere around here? No. Uh, not here. Central West. 
Yeah, maybe more around here. Where all of the fairies are, actually. But I think... You know what? I think the fairies are gonna be too strong, right? Yeah, you know what? I can't even beat the regular fairies, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to tame... To capture one of them, right? Because I can't even, like... Beat the regular ones. It's behind the pond? Oh! Okay, let's check that. Let's take a look... Like here? No. But I don't think I'm gonna be strong enough anyway. Let's try it, but... The wanted facility isn't that bad. What fighting level are you now? I'm... Um, I'm playing on the hard difficulty. Oh, I think it's... Oh, no. And I'm level 12. Where is that fairy? Yeah, okay, let me go back. So I think I'm just getting further away now, right? Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go back there. The fairy was in front of the pond next to the frogs for me. Yeah, let's go back around that pond. I know your video told me about the tree seeds, but I only looked once, so totally forgot about that stuff. Yeah, you should look up the, the daily, guys. It takes a while if you want to grow a lot of trees, and they take a while to grow, so... I always try... I kind of forgot, I just checked one time since I started this stream, but... I should also check it more often. For the record, it took me 40 minutes to get my sheets in the laundry, because I kept getting distracted by Josh in the chat. Oh no! <laughs> well, at least you got it done. I'm totally going the wrong direction, by the way. Oh no! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know I'm going the wrong way, yeah. Oh, she didn't charge me. But you know what, guys? Uh, it's been four hours and... I really feel like I could keep playing this game for a while, but I'm gonna have to go eat lunch. Actually, I didn't have breakfast because I woke up just before the stream. So I'm gonna have to go soon, but uh, thank you so much guys for joining me today for another Rune Factory 5 stream. It was a lot of fun and I'm definitely gonna stream this game more in the future. Maybe I could try to stream it like maybe once a week or something. I'm gonna post the streaming, the schedule on Discord. I don't think I'm gonna do like a whole playthrough on stream. So sometimes I'm gonna play off stream a little bit. But I'm gonna try to stream it as much as I can because that's always a lot of fun. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. So I'm gonna go save. And yeah, so far I'm really enjoying the English version of the game. I mean, it's the same game, so like nothing new, but it's just nice to start a new playthrough and like being a little bit weak <laughs> and dying again. And you know, it's it's fun. 
And I hope everyone's enjoying Rune Factory 5 if you've been playing it. So, yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to save. Yeah, it's so weird to have all the menus and everything in English. It feels so unusual. Yeah, I need to sell some stuff. Okay, all right. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be pretty much it. So I'm gonna go eat lunch. Hope you guys all have a good rest of your day. And yeah, and I'm gonna see you all in the next live stream.